can support us completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story chapter 461. Business isn't easy this granddaughter, Zhou San and I married last year. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou knew about it and had asked eldest sister-in-law to give a share of money to her. Although she heard the man was a little older and his legs were a bit lame, he doted San and I. What's more, old second family had accepted the betrothal money, so they as grandparents naturally have no objection. However, they hadn't really met this grandson-in-law, Li Aigua. Basically, they had no plan to go back there anymore and may not be able to see him in this life. Unexpectedly, the couple both came to the capital. Grandmother, you are a lot younger. Zhou San and I saw her grandparents and was overjoyed. But at the same time she couldn't help saying. Have to say, because of a good lifestyle and a smooth and comfortable life, Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were really much younger. When they came here, they didn't have to worry about anything at all. At most, looking after the kids and then going to the park to relax. Recently Mother Zhou was learning Tai Chi from the old ladies in the park. Every morning she would head over, leaving all the grandchildren to Father Zhou. This was how people were. Eat well and sleep well and they will appear younger. Especially since in the past six months, only one physical examination was performed. All the physical indicators achieved very healthy standards. In addition, the capital's environment nurtured people. Whether it was Father Zhou or Mother Zhou, both were a lot of fairer. It seems that after coming to the capital, not only did they not age, but also got younger? Though Father Zhou did not speak, his expression displayed satisfaction. Mother Zhou laughed, You girl, when did you become a smooth talker? What younger? I'm already at this age. Grandfather. Grandmother, I'll leave sister, San and I, and third brother-in-law, to you. I'm going back to help out first. Zhou Gui Lai said. Mother Zhou responded, San Hua, wait. Take some eggs back. She grabbed a bag and went to fill it with the egg. Just half full bag of eggs. Zhou Gui Lai didn't act reserved with her and took it back. Mother Zhou brought her granddaughter and grandson-in-law into the house and said, What are you doing here? Grandmother, San and I, and I came here to live in the capital. Li Aigua told. Mother Zhou uttered in amazement, not coming here for fun? It's fine to live here. However, making a living is a problem. Fourth uncle and fourth aunt came to Lijia village to look for us. They said that they are going to open another shop and when the times comes, there will be a shortage of people. So San and I and I came. Li Aigua explained. Your fourth uncle and fourth aunt is going to open a shop? Mother Zhou was shocked. N. Zhou San and I nodded, CNI is here too. CNI is here? Mother Zhou was even more surprised. How many of you are here? Don't tell me Lu and I is brought here too. Father Zhou said. Lu and I didn't come. Just us couple and C and I, Zhou San and I replied. Mother Zhou nodded when she heard this, just you three is fine. However, grandmother must tell you that your fourth uncle and fourth aunt's business motto is harmony create wealth. With Luni's temperament, don't beckon her over, understand? A lot of things happened this summer. At Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin's bun shop, their bun shop had a very good business, so there were two more businesses there. Including Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin's shop, there were three bun shops. However, Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin's bun shops had the most stable flow of customers. Everything was fine before. But just a month ago, a bun shop just got into a fight with a customer. That business's customers got particularly capable household behind him. The reason was that person bought buns and bought a lot of them. They happened find a cockroach in that bun shop's bun. It made people disgusted. Of course, that person would come knocking and demand compensation, so can that person let it go? However, that bun shop refused to bear this black pot, saying that that person wanted to swindle and blackmail. 
After some to and fro, the bun shop got smashed. When Mother Zhou heard Zhou Xiaomei mention it, she was startled. Zhou Xiaomei felt it was very fortunate that her family De Lin listened to her fourth brother's examples. Everything must be clean and tidy. The attitude got to be excellent. He would even add a bun if one bought in bulks. He didn't earn much profit, but rather a public relation and good impression. That bun shop was a bit arrogant. When it comes to this kind of matter, one must turn a big problem into a small one. Looked how it turned out now? The shop got smashed another. Mother Zhou recalled the time that Fourth's wife refused to allow Su Xing Chung as well as Zhou Lu and I to come. It wasn't just that they can't lend any help. It was better that they don't come to add troubles. These two weren't someone who would obediently work. So, Mother Zhou warned Zhou Sen and I. It was also to remind Li Aigua that harmony create money. It was no problem to come, but just don't make trouble. Grandmother, we know that. Zhou Sen and I said. Li Aigua also nodded, Grandmother, don't worry. We will help fourth uncle and fourth aunt watch the store. Mother Zhou Mu didn't say anything. There was no place to live at Qing Bai's side. CNI and RNI lives in the dumpling shop. It's perfect for you two to come here to live. Father Zhou changed the subject and said. They brought them over to see the room. This was the room Su Xingmei used to come to sleep in before. It was a guest room and was also spacious. Su Qing and the others were currently sleeping in it. Since the, the couple came over, it was temporarily vacated for them. It was no problem for the kids to camp on the floor in their parents' room. It wasn't permanent. Grandmother, these TV and fans must cost a lot of money, right? Zhou Sen and I asked. There's also a washing machine outside. Your fourth aunt bought it for us. Mother Zhou Mu said with a smile. Zhou Sen and I sighed. Her grandparents' life was really good after coming here. All these big household items were available. Never mind Li Aigua. Once they came, it was almost like entering a new world. Now you come, work hard. Ching Bai and his wife are kind and won't make you suffer. Father Zhou said to Li Aigua. Grandfather, I know. It's due to fourth uncle and fourth aunt's care. That's why they are willing to bring us to such a big city. Li Aigua responded. Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing, he was watching out for their niece, Zhou San and I. He was incidental. He knew this. It was no problem. He married San and I as his wife. If not, he wouldn't have been brought to this side. Maybe he wouldn't have come to such a big city in this life. Youngest aunt, Xiao Mei, and uncle haven't come home yet? Zhou San and I asked. Not yet. Soon. Mother Zhou answered. Father Zhou went to wash the tomatoes and gave them one each to snack on first. Is the bun shop business okay? Zhou Sen and I accepted it and said. Business isn't easy. You don't know. Last month, the shop next to your aunt's bun shop fought with someone and the shop got destroyed. Mother Zhou emotionally remarked. Chapter 462 Gold Nest and Silver Nest can't compare to Own Grass Nest, Li Aigua and Zhou San and I were both shocked. There was such a barbarous thing in the capital? Especially Li Aigua. He had plans in this aspect, so he asked for further detail. Mother Zhou didn't hide it and recount at once. Su De Lin and Zhou Xiaomei only came back in the evening. Only then did they see Li Aigua and Zhou San and I. San and I? Zhou Xiaomei uttered in surprise, Why are you here? This is? Aigua, this is youngest aunt and youngest uncle. Zhou San and I introduced to Li Aigua. Li Aigua greeted them. Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin understood then this was their nephew in law. You two are rare guests? Did you come with fourth brother and fourth sister in law? Zhou Xiaomei grinned. N. Came over here to watch fourth uncle and fourth aunt's shop. 
Zhou San and I curved her lips into a smile. Since coming here, Zhou San and I had become cheerful. She talked a lot and laughed a lot. There seems to be no shortage of people at fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law's side. Zhou Xiaomei was direct and said. Fourth uncle said they're going to open another dry goods shop. Li Aigua took over. Fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law can really take on a lot. They're going to open another shop again? How many are there now? Zhou Xiaomei was stunned. She was thinking about opening a second bun shop. But the children were still young and can't help. If it was just them two, they really can't handle that much. They want to hire someone, but haven't hired before. They were somewhat worried about breaking the shop's motto. While fourth brother and fourth sister-in-law have a dumpling shop, three clothing shops, a beverage shop, and a small two-shift clothing workshop. How much work was that? And they still want to open some kind of dried goods shop? I guess it must be your fourth sister-in-law's idea. Your fourth brother doesn't have that brain. What does this dry goods shop sell? Mother Zhou was clueless. I don't understand. Zhou Xiaomei didn't know either. She turned to Zhou, San and I, and Li Aigua, it's good that you come now. Work hard, now that you are at this side. Later on, see if you have any plan to do it alone. I heard from fourth aunt. Hu Zi and Gang Zi will come out by themselves in the future, right? Zhou San and I asked. Yes. As long as they have the ability, fourth sister-in-law would support them. She never planned for them to work for a lifetime. Zhou Xiaomei said. Because it was getting late, Zhou Xiaomei led Zhou San and I away to start preparing dinner. Zhou San and I and Li Aigua ate at this side. Zhou Si and I was helping out at the dumpling shop. This girl was very nimble and caught on quick. Needless to say, she served the dumplings to the guests. Lin Qing, he went out to buy groceries and bought a lot of ingredients. Zhou San and I and Li Aigua went over to that side to eat. This side also needed to celebrate. Zhou Er and I was the most pleasantly surprised about Zhou Si and I coming here without warning. When she got off work and came to the dumpling shop to help with cooking, she was shocked to see her, C and I? Second sister. Zhou C and I noticed the change in her second sister. If she returned to the village like this, she would have shaken everyone in the village. This was completely different from before. The whole person had become very beautiful. What's the matter? Came with fourth uncle and fourth aunt? Zhou Er and I was ecstatic and asked. N. Zhou C and I nodded. How long can you stay? Zhou Er and I asked. Zhou C and I beamed, this time I'm staying. Fourth aunt? Zhou Er and I hurriedly looked at her fourth aunt. C and I will live with you from now on. I plan to send her to night school to study. You should teach her more. Lin Qing, he smiled. Zhou Er and I was delighted and said, I will definitely teach her and let her take over as soon as possible. Then the sisters helped Lin Qing, he with the cooking. Once finished, the workers' food were packed in food boxes. Hu Zi and Gang Zi arrived. They were sent to ride bicycles to deliver them before they come back to eat. It was common for the whole family to eat while doing business. They would cook dumplings when the guests come. Fourth aunt, why did you suddenly bring so many people here? I think Uncle Min is still hiring. There are two candidates waiting for you to come back and check out. Zhou Er and I spoke. It's no problem. I'll go find Qing Min to talk about it in the evening and let him bring them over tomorrow. Lin Qing, he nodded. Her body wasn't feeling up to it now. After eating, she called Qing Bai and Zhou Si and I. With a change of clothes, they went over to look for Liye Aigua and Zhou San and I. Of course, they were going to take a bath together. Otherwise, it was really unhealthy. Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin joined them as well. When they arrived at the bathhouse, the men and women went to their separate bathhouse. Fourth sister-in-law, your large movements are non-stop, Zhou Xiaomei said. 
what large movements. I went to the South and happened to encounter it. That's why I had this idea. Lin Ching, he said. I heard A.I. was said, selling some kind of dry good? What kind of business is this? Zhou Xiaomei asked. It's dried seafood, such as sea cucumber, abalone, fish gelatin. Lin Ching, he answered. Originally, she wanted to buy some fish gelatin to keep as collagen supplements. But after going to the big factory, she found out a source. How about getting into this business? So like this, it was decided. What's more, the other side was willing to deliver goods. So why not do this business? But the shop? A location got to be found. Those things are very rare. Are they in stock? Zhou Xiaomei was shocked. Zhou San and I and Zhou Si and I both looked at their fourth aunt. Lin Qing, he smiled, there is in the south. Not only was it available, but also in large quantity. She estimated that big factory wasn't small at all. Even if it was placed in later generations. They scrubbed each other during the wash up and then they came to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side to sit down. Zhou Qingbai told Su De Lin that his uncle might had been laid off. He used to take care of Su De Lin. Now that he was laid off, Su De Lin must help. However, it was Su De Lin's decision. They won't intervene as they were separated by a branch. Tomorrow, they will look for a shop and see if there any house for rent. But for now, they will let Zhou San and I and Li Ai Guo live here. After sitting here for a while, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai took Zhou Si and I back to the apartment in the community. Lin Qing He went over to tell Ma Qing Min to bring the two promising new workers over tomorrow. Then she went home. Watch TV by yourself. Your sister and the others will come back after class later. Your uncle and I can't stand it anymore. We are getting older and have to go to bed first. Lin Qing, he said. N. I can wait for my sister and them. Zhou Si and I nodded. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai went back to the room to sleep first. Lying on the bed, Lin Qing he said emotionally, no wonder it is said that the gold nest and silver nest can't compare to one's own grass nest. How comfortable was it to lie down? You don't need to get up early tomorrow. I can go to the housing management bureau to ask by myself. Zhou Qingbai knew that his wife had worked so hard. He massaged her waist and shoulders as he spoke. Massage longer. Lin Qing, he hummed. Chapter 463 Purchase Properties One Night of Good Night The next day Lin Qing, he didn't slept in too many long. It was like this in summer. She couldn't sleep in as much as she wanted, unlike winter. That quilt in the winter morning was paradise on earth. When she woke up, Zhou Qingbai had just returned with buns from Su De Lin's side. One can get tired of always eating dumplings. So from time to time, they would go to Su De Lin to have buns for breakfast. You didn't go open the shop? Lin Qing, he asked, when she saw him acting so idle. Third had gone over. Zhou Qingbai replied. This summer, the family's business was truly supported by third. Eldest, Zhou Kai wasn't at home. Zhou Xian had no ambition to deal with this. He originally planned to help, but he saw that his younger brother was very strong and could take it on. So he left him be. He tutored and went out to sketch. Simply carefree as possible. No wonder third complained to her yesterday saying that he as the youngest child had no benefit at all. The first one, to be enslaved. Lin Qing, he smiled, this kid is capable. Zhou Qing Bai had mirth in his eyes. The kid didn't want to come this morning, but was lifted up and kicked out by him. After raising him so big, wasn't it the time to put to him to proper use? This was how the child was. The more one hold him up high, the less probability of raising a filial son. The more one uses him, the more he grows. Of course, Zhou Qing Bai, a rough man, didn't understand this. When it was time to work, he'll just drive him out to work. It was as simple as that. 
Are you going to the Housing Management Bureau? Lin Qing, he asked. Zhou Qingbai originally intended to go the Housing Management Bureau by himself after bringing her food back. Now that she got up, she naturally wanted to go too. Lin Qing, he washed up and had her breakfast. Putting aside how good De Lin and Xiao Mei's business is, this bun got some weight to it. Whether it was the bun flesh or the filling, it was sufficient. The bun shops around him can't match him. Zhou Qingbai said. He was satisfied with the result of Su De Lin's business lesson with him. Nowadays, the prices had risen. The profit of the shop had also increased. Su De Lin was diligent. Most people only sell buns in the morning. The bun shop at his side opened from morning to night. It just closed in the afternoon to nap two hours. It operated as normal in the evening until he go home to have dinner. It wasn't just Su De Lin's side. It was the same for Zhou Qing Bai's dumpling shop. In this summer, the price was raised by Zhou Gui Lai. This kid got guts. When his parents weren't home, he dared to raise the price. What's more, the business wasn't affected at all. The couple came over to the Housing Management Bureau with a bag. Actually, the Housing Management Bureau had a lot of properties in its hands. All owners came to sell them. But in this era, people were waiting to be allocated accommodation from workplace despite the tight housing conditions and a large population crowded together. Though there were people who sought a property and bought a place of their own, it was a tiny percentage. Because they were buying it by themselves. Meaning they had to pay for it themselves. The current market price of apartment was a few thousand yuan. What did a few thousand yuan meant to a working class with salary of a few tenor? Especially when the prices had risen this year. The house price had fluctuated a lot. It was a lot more expensive than last year. Although it was only a few hundred yuan, a few hundred yuan was the total income of the family in a year. Even Ma Ching Min, Huang Xiao Liu, and his son Ma Xiao Dan lived with Aunt Ma. Although it was a two bedroom house, it was a few tens of square meters. It would be a lie to say it wasn't crowded. It was all right as those who worked went to work and those who got school, attended school. They only lived in it in the evening. When they came to buy a shop this year, Lin Qing He and Zhou Qing Bai clearly noticed the fluctuation of properties' prices. It floated up a few hundred yuan. Those locations were still SOSO. The better location truly fluctuated a lot. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai visited three shops in total. There were three shops in three spots. One of them was by the vegetable market side. That area wasn't actually big. Only a few tens of square meters. But the price wasn't expensive, about 7,000. You know the liveliness of the vegetable market. The owner of this shop is going to move away. Otherwise, he's really to sell. He won't accept low asking price. This is his bottom line. The administrator of the Housing Management Bureau, who brought them over to look at this place, said. 7,000 yuan was indeed not cheap. That house with garden where Father Zhou and Mother Zhou lived was only at this price. The location there was also good. But this had only been a few years and it had risen to this level? Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai wanted to buy it. It was perfect for selling dried products, because there was a big market next to them. It wasn't far from the dumpling shop. It took about 40 minutes by bicycle. Lin Qing, he asked, are there any other bigger shops for sale? Nothing. The manager flipped the book and answered. Lin Qing, he did not continue to speak. She was satisfied with the location of the shop, but was slightly dissatisfied with the size. It was a bit small. If there weren't any bigger one, they can only renovate the shop and then separate out in a small single room. After all, the stocks in the shop weren't cheap. She thought about it and wanted Li Aigua and Zhou San and I to live in the shop. When the times come, the toilet faucet and kitchen needed to be made available. Ideas were thought out by people, right? With Zhou Qing Bai, they went to see other shops with the administrator. 
Lin Qing, he didn't have that big appetite. In addition to the sixth shop, the dry goods shop, she also set up a seventh shop because the seventh shop was in a good location. Let's see what they can do when the time comes. There was another shop which Lin Qing, he didn't want, even when she knew that every inch of land would be worth more in the future. She didn't need to go for everything. Later, they can take their time. Sooner or later, her wish to become a landlady will come true. After all, there were already seven shops, all of which were in good locations. The courtyard dwelling was pocketed. Also, that house with garden. The apartment didn't count. It was assigned to her by her workplace. Only got the right of residence, not the right to buy or sell. The last transaction, courtyard dwelling, was introduced to them by a female administrator. The male administrator didn't know about it yet. So Lin Qing, he stuffed Ten Yuan over. Ah, uh, this is? The administrator was shocked. Lin Qing, he smiled and said, it was hard on you to take us to so many places today. I wonder if there are any courtyard dwelling for sale now. Accept it. It's for your hard work. There isn't any courtyard house. If you want, I will inform you when the time comes. That dumpling shop is yours, right? The administrator was very happy. As expected of someone who bought two shops in one go. Ten Yuan Tips He responded after receiving the tip. Chapter 464 Decent way, yes, it's ours. If you have any, go there to find us. Let us know at once and your tips won't be short. Lin Qing, he said. She didn't expect to any courtyard dwelling available now, because she might not be able to afford even when she had a lot of money in her hands. It was definitely more expensive. Also, those with courtyard dwelling, which one of them would be short of money? Why would they sell it under normal circumstances? The courtyard dwelling she bought last time was almost impossible to encounter. So this was giving a heads up to the administrator first. The female administrator last time, leave her be. With so many properties, it can't be under the hands of one person. So the effect wasn't much. What's more, she was busy, and Zhou Qingbai had his business. It was impossible to come over every now and then. Although they had bought a top-level double-entry dwelling, which covered an area of more than 800 square meters, Lin Qinghe's appetite wasn't satisfied with one double-entry dwelling. So Lin Qing, he could only ask the administrator to come over and notify them. After buying the two shops, Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai went home. Lin Qing, he said on the road, that shop is still a bit small. Is there any way to create a living space? Yes. Zhou Qing Bai replied. It was indeed possible. Just cost some money. The floor area was only 40 square meters or so. It was no problem spare out 20 square meter to build a narrow single room with a complete small bathroom and a small kitchen for eating. During this age, people lived like this, without so much debate. And it cost a lot of money to renovate this. But he didn't mind this anymore. Zhou Qingbai went to the dumpling shop. Lin Qing, he made way to the men's shop to find Ma Qing Min. The two people that Ma Qing Min brought over were busy here. They were waiting for her. Both of them were girls. After checking them out, Lin Qing he spoke, trial for two days first. Stay if you pass. Ma Qing Min must have told them about the treatment, so she won't go into more details. So she sent them both across the street to the women's clothing store that Zhou Er and I watched over. Not long later, Zhou Er and I arrived. You keep one here. The other, go, to Shan Shan's side. Lin Qing, he said. I still have CNI on my side, Zhou Er and I mentioned. Before it was her and another girl in the shop. Now CNI came over. With an addition of one more, the shop had four. I plan to arrange CNI to go over to Qingyang and Qingyu's beverage shop. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Er and I nodded when she heard this. Lin Qing, he continued, go back to work and call CNI to come over. 
I'm taking her over there in a bit. There were three clothing shops so far. Zhou Ernie's side got three people. Chen Shan Shan's side also had three people. Once Cien I go over, there will be also three people at the beverage shop. Three people took turns in watching in each shop. Which was perfect. The manpower arrangement was much more relaxed. The men's shop got Hu Zi, Gang Zi, and Ma Ching Min. Although Ma Ching Min had to take care of a lot, as long as he didn't need to go out, he came to the shop to keep watch. He was very conscientious. After all, unless he went out to do it alone, it would be hard to find the salary and treatment Lin Qing he given. Lin Qing, he told Ma Ching Min about opening a dry goods shop. Ma Ching Min was shocked. Opened another shop? But he quickly reacted and responded, need renovation? N. You can leave here, to Hu Zi and Gang Zi here. You can go to the dumpling shop and find Qing Bai. He will tell you how to decorate it. Lin Qing, he nodded. When Zhou Cni came over, Lin Qing, he took Zhou Cni to the beverage shop. Zhou Cni was impressed, fourth aunt, you are too incredible. Only when she came here, did she know how many shops her uncle and aunt had. So many shops. She couldn't take in enough. Lin Qing, he smiled, what's so incredible about this? The pressure to feed the workers isn't small. Adding it up now, how many people were working under her? Of course, the benefits created by her were generous. However, last night she was too tired to go home and didn't have time to check. Still, she knew that the business was definitely better. CNI was a nickname. Her proper name was Zhou Hongxia. When she was introduced to Qing Yang and Qing Yu, her proper name was used. Once Hong Xia catch on, I will get Qing Min to arrange a more standardized work schedule. Lin Qing, he said. There wasn't enough manpower before, so they made do. However, it was time to learn to standardize and follow the shift system of later generations. Working hours were shortened and more relaxed. After all, they were at this age. Got to let them have their own time to go date or something. She didn't oppress and exploit labor. Leaving C and I here, Lin Qing, he went back and came over to the dumpling shop, only the youngest. Zhou Gui Lai was working hard without complain. Mom, I heard my dad talk with Uncle Ching Min. What kind of dry goods shop is our family going to open? Zhou Gui Lai asked when he saw her. Your dad took your Uncle Ching Min over? Lin Qing, he asked. N. Just left. Zhou Gui Lai nodded. Lin Qing, he said, where is our account book? It's in your room. Zhou Gui Lai replied, second brother managed it. It should be sorted out right. Lin Qing, he let him busy away and went home to look at the ledgers. The accounts managed by second were indeed undoubted excellent. At a glance, the income of almost two months wasn't low at all especially the beverage shop. The income hit a new high. Its monthly income exceeded 2,000. This was just the beverage shop alone and the monthly income reached such a figure. It can be seen how popular the beverage, ice cream and the like were this summer. It was high in demand. Basically, they had to get supplies every day and fill three of the four large freezers with ice cream popsicles. The last one was used to chill drinks. Basically there wasn't enough to sell. Many people say that the drinks weren't chilled enough. It can't be helped. Not long after putting it in, someone will buy them. Of course it can't be cold enough. Lin Qing, he planned to go to the mall, to buy another freezer. But only that much plan was made for now. She continued to look at the other account books. The business of the three clothing stores was also very good. The men's clothing store can't compare to the two women's clothing stores. It was worth mentioning that after the dumpling shop was taken over by Zhou Gui Lai, the profit had increased a lot because of the price increase. Lin Qing, he grinned. She didn't know how she raised her children. The most slippery of the three children was supposed to be second. She always thought that the youngest guy wanted to do business. 
The youngest was a loafer who only cared about eating, drinking, and having fun. Lin Qing, he had wanted to send him to train with his eldest brother for a few years to stabilize his temper. In the end, this stubborn youngest, who was only 15 years old, managed the shop in a decent way. Second simply acted as the hands-off shopkeeper and left everything but the ledgers to his younger brother. Chapter 465 Man-eating flower, Lin Qing, he went through and totaled the accounts. She took the money out of the cabinet to count again before putting it into the space. Then she came to the dumpling shop. It had been hard on her family's little third in the past two months. Shouldn't she come to encourage him? Third, why do we have an extra refrigerator at home? Lin Qing, he asked. There was an extra refrigerator in the house with a lot of drinks and ice cream in it. She didn't give any criticism. I bought it. Used the pocket money I saved myself. I didn't put it on the account. Zhou Gui Lai lifted his chin and answered with slight proudness. This is a contribution to the family. Lin Qing, he beamed as she directed this at her youngest son. It's nothing. It's just a refrigerator. Zhou Gui Lai was in a good mood and carefully responded. Those pocket money was his effort money. It was saved by himself. Then he bought it. After buying it, its use was large. When he come back home in the evening night, how refreshing it was to have a popsicle or chill drink. It seems that your second brother is going down the literature road. We will have to rely on third to hold up our business in the future. Lin Qing, he held one of his hand. It's okay, I'm used to it. Zhou Gui Lai said. He said it like it was so tough. Lin Qing, he smiled, when your dad comes back, let him take over and give you a vacation. You will be back to school in a few days. You can take your sister Sen and I and third brother-in-law around those few days. No going. The weather is too hot. I still got military training once school starts. I'll get more than enough sunbathing then. Zhou Gui Lai refused to be tour guide, mom, ask second brother, to take them. Where is your second brother? Lin Qing, he asked. She didn't see since she got up early this morning. He went to the Temple of Heaven with a drawing board on his back. In the afternoon, he got tutoring to give. He only got some time in the evening. Zhou Gui Lai bitterly let out. Lin Qing, he was curious, why is your second brother suddenly interested in painting? I don't know. Looking at his painting, it seemed pretty good. We have a lot of his finished products in our room. Also at our grandparents' side. A good few were gifted away. Grandmother Precious it like something and told Grandfather to mount it and hang it on the wall. Zhou Gui Lai told. His second brother had become into art and literature now, Zhou Gui Lai remembered and spoke, second brother wants to buy a guitar. Okay. Lin Qing, he had no objection. It was a good thing to have a hobby. A good one is worth several hundred. Zhou Gui Lai was still a little bit reluctant to buy it for his second brother. Buy it. Your camera is much more expensive than his guitar. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Gui Lai grinned. His camera was really without a flaw. The quality was top-notch and more face-gaining to bring out. You two brothers both got good stuff, while your eldest brother doesn't. Lin Qing, he sighed in melancholy. Eldest brother can't play anything over there. Mom, you can make him something to eat and send over. Zhou Gui Lai said. Lin Qing, he had the same thought. But in this hot weather, what can she make to send? At this time, the express delivery wasn't as professional as later generations, and it was very slow. Even when one want to send food over, they have to wait for the cold weather to send it over. How Su Xing Chong? Is he studying hard? Lin Qing, he changed the subject. I didn't hear about it from Brother Gang Zi. There should be no problem. Zhou Gui Lai said, and then he curled his lips, Mom, you don't know how disgusting the neighboring old Zhang family is. What's the matter? Lin Qing, he asked. 
that Zhang Meilian. Seeing that you and dad aren't at home, she came knocking to find brother Hu Zi. Zhou Guelai harumphed. Zhang Meilian was rejected by Hu Zi last time. Still, she didn't give up on it. So, she stirred something up this summer vacation. Purposely sought out Hu Zi. Like knocking on the door to find Hu Zi. Of course, she had looked for Hu Zi before this. Hu Zi had avoided her and detoured when he saw her. It never crossed his mind that she would come to the door. This Mei Lian made Hu Zi disgusted. What should be said had been said. What should be avoided, he avoided. Did he have to rip open the facade before she is willing stop? Besides, wasn't what he said that time obvious? It can't be that she thought Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing he weren't home, there was no one holding the rein at home. Zhou Gui Lai wasn't a polite. With just a sentence, he made Zhang Mei Lian go back stiffly. He simply said, it spread all over the community. We all know. You're trying to bully my honest brother Hu Zi and want to Hu Zi to take you in? Really, Zhang Mei Lian didn't expect him to not give face and actually dare to say it. Probably due to losing face and knew that Hu Zi won't marry her. So Zhang Mei Lian moved out within a few days. Since then old Madame Zhang found them extremely displeasing to her eyes Zhou Gui Lai and the others didn't care a bit. As if they would be afraid of that old Zhang family. Both Zhou Gui Lai and Zhou Xian know that their grandfather had been exiled for so many years and it was thanks to this neighbor, old Zhang Famil's past credit. Really got no lower limit. Lin Qing, he sneered after listening. Mom, you have to guard against Su Xingmei. I heard from Granny Su that she had seen Zhang Mei Lian talk with Su Xingmei and seemed to got a lot to talk. Zhou Gui Lai mentioned while making dumplings. Granny Su was old Madame Su from the small workshop. Lin Qing, he frowned and said, Why is Su Xingmei mingling with Zhang Mei Lian? I don't know. Nothing comes from it. Zhou Gui Lai harumphed. He was originally nice to Su Xingmei. After all, he had no sister. Su Xingmei was soft and weak. What's more, she was his cousin's sister. He must take care of her. He had often treated her to ice cream. But now, no good impression remained. He felt that this cousin was simply a human eating flower. Peered soft and weak, but that was only on the surface. Its mouth can swallow a person whole. What's more, Zhou Gui Lai felt that his family was betrayed by this cousin with a black knife. Did his mom disallow her to date at this side? If it was forbidden, then why would she let sister Er and I date brother Wang Yuan? It was she who wanted to find someone by herself and got together with Zhao Jun. This summer, Su Xingmei had brought Zhao Jun to the dumpling shop for a visit. Then Zhao Jun came in and crossed his legs. He spoke in a very arrogant manner. Really regarded himself as a green onion. What did he think he was? Zhou Gui Lai didn't have them stay for a meal and just sent them away. By the way, Su Xingmei is pregnant again. Zhou Gui Lai said. Lin Qing, he saw Zhou Qing Bai had come back and uttered, never mind about her. Then she directed, leave the dumpling shop to your dad. You and I will go grocery shopping. Wang Yuan, your sister San and I and third sister-in-law will come over for a meal at noon. Dad, I'll leave it to you. I'm going shopping with my mom. Brother Wang Yuan likes fried pork with green peppers. We'll buy him some later. Zhou Gui Lai said to his dad. He didn't have any good feelings for Zhao Jun. But his impression of Wang Yuan, who was his prospective second brother-in-law, was top-notch. Chapter 466 Middleman Human Beings All Interact With Each Other It was no wonder that Zhou Gui Lai had such an impression of this prospective second brother-in-law. Ten visits and half of these times Wang Yuan came here with things. While Zhao Jun, he came over with his hands empty and waited for the meal. Want to drink Northwest Wind? If yes, open your mouth and wait. It wasn't about to bringing things over. But rather, a question of attitude. 
Did the person really respect people and treat them as relatives? Who didn't sense it? With the way Wang Yuan was, old Zhou family warmly welcomed even when his hands empty. They already regarded him as family. He didn't need to bring anything. It was a trivial matter to come here to eat food if he didn't want to go outside to eat. However, he was too polite. He would buy things from time to time. Same with Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's cider. He often dropped by for meals and became very familiar with Father Zhou and Mother Zhou. They basically treated him as a grandson. This was the problem of socializing in the world. Zhou Gui Lai and his mother came over to buy groceries. They bought a chicken. There was no need to buy pork. Zhou Qing Bai had it in the freezer. Just need to cut a piece. They also bought a lot of corn on the cob, carrots, other vegetables, and fish. Now that the number of people in the shop was enough, Lin Qing, he had asked Ma Qing Min to make a roster. She will not provide dinner from then on. Because working hours were more standardized, employees gets more free time. Their wages remain unchanged. No increase was given to them. After all, her salary wasn't bad compared to outside ones. After returning with the groceries, Lin Qing He and Zhou Gui Lai started to sort them. As for the mushrooms that they brought back, it can be eaten. The ones Zhou Qing Bai went to the hillside of Lijia village and picked back for Lin Qing He. When they brought it, they brought it together. Lin Qing, he had stored it in her space and didn't take it out to eat. It wasn't easy to explain. Just needed to find a time to take it out and sun dry it. But the fresh mushrooms can't be taken out. There were still a lot of dried mushrooms, which were all good. Not long later, Li Aigua and Zhou San and I arrived. The couple recognized their way yesterday. They went to help Zhou Xiaomei and Su De Lin this morning. So they came over here now. Zhou San and I helped Lin Qinghe. Fourth aunt will take you to the hospital in the afternoon. Lin Qing, he said to her. Zhou San and I was overjoyed when she heard this and nodded, I have troubled fourth aunt. What trouble? It's not very far. Lin Qing, he responded. Then they began to start preparing the ingredients. She ordered Zhou Gui Lai, go and bring your sister Si and I sister back. She's at the beverage shop. Okay. Zhou Gui Lai answered and rode the bicycle to the beverage shop. Lin Qing, he smilingly asked Zhou, San and I, and Li Aigua, how's the capital? Excellent. Li Aigua nodded. Zhou San and I exclaimed, fourth aunt, I didn't know the outside world was so big and prosperous. Lin Qing, he grinned, while the shop hasn't been opened yet, you can walk around and have a look. After a while, the shop will open. You won't be free then. No need. We'll help out first. Get warmed up to the job earlier. Zhou San and I responded. All right then. No rush though. Only found someone to decorate the shop today. The place is a bit crowded. But it's okay, we can get it all set up for you. Lin Qing, he said. Where? Li Aigua asked. N, let Aigua help. Zhou San and I added on. Lin Qing, he's intention was for them to stroll around first. But obviously they were feeling insecure without a job. Especially Li Aigua, who was feeling out of place after coming to a new place and being idle. So Lin Qing, he told Li Aigua, after lunch, I will let Qing Min take you there. You can oversee it. As for San and I, forget it. I will take her and see and I around. Okay. Li Aigua agreed. At this time, the sound of a car emerged. A red Hongqi brand car parked on the street edge and Wang Yuan got out of the car. Fourth aunt, you and fourth uncle are back. Wang Yuan merrily greeted when he saw Lin Qinghe. We are. It's why we ask Er and I to go over and invite Busy Yu to come and have a meal together. Lin Qing, he smiled. What's are you saying? Fourth aunt, if you don't mind me having a big appetite, I would come every day. Wang Yuan jollily replied. 
As they spoke, they had already entered the door. He got such an impressive air. A car. Dressed up like a boss. Just today, he was in casual clothes. Back when he came over during the new year, that was truly dressing up. Especially trendy. Dressing up by himself wasn't enough. He had also bought two sets of clothes for Air and I and dressed her up like a doll. If it weren't for Ernie's traditional mind and firmly refused, he would take Air and I out to get hair perm done. Like the kind of ponytail with curly hair tied up with a small high heel on during the Republic of China. Lin Qing, he wanted to laugh after hearing Zhou Ernie's complaint. He was raising Air and I like a daughter. This is Wang Yuan. Our old Zhou family's prospective son in law. Your sister Ernie's boyfriend. Lin Qing, he smiled and introduced to Zhou San and I and Li Aigua. Then she introduced to Wang Yuan, this is San and I and Li Aigua. Naturally, they get to know each other. Zhou San and I and Li Aigua were stunned. This was a son in law from the capital, was amazing. Such impressive air. They had such relatives? When Zhou Gue Lai came back with CNI, there was naturally another introduction. Once Zhou Er and I, Hu Zi, and the others arrived, the whole family gathered for lunch in the afternoon. It was really lively. After lunch, the family sat down and had tea and chat together. Lin Qing he said to Zhou San and I, the dry goods shop is a little far away, so you and AI Guo will have to open your own stove in the future. Don't worry about the kerosene stove, it will be sent to you for use. A kerosene stove was used for cooking at this time. Zhou San and I agreed. Wang Yuan was surprised, fourth aunt, you going to open a dry goods shop? What are you selling? Dried seafood. Selling abalone, dried sea cucumber and dried fish gelatin. Lin Qing, he said. Wow. Those aren't cheap. Wang Yuan said, the base cost isn't low. But where will you find a supplier? From the south. Yangqing area. Do you want to eat? If you want to eat, wait for our goods to come. Then I will give you something for you to taste. Lin Qing, he smiled. There was a box of big sea crabs in her space. All of them weren't small. Then I won't be reserved with fourth aunt. I really like these seafood. After opening this shop, I will definitely have to patronize in the future. You have to give me a discount. Wang Yuan laughed. A big boss like you wants me to give discount. You should say, wrap everything up for me. I, Lord Wang, pays the bill. Lin Qing, he joked. Zhou Gui Lai laughed and said, Mom, you want to be a middleman? Chapter 467 where we live from now on the family talked and laughed together. When it was about time, everyone went on with their own business. Lin Qing, he napped for half an hour. Once one got to this age, it was like this. Regardless of how well-maintained she was, if she didn't sleep in the afternoon, she'll feel a little out of her body and can't handle the activities in the afternoon. After sleeping, she felt much better. She went over to Ernie's shop to find San and I. San and I was helping out there. She also wanted to get started early and learn how to interact with the people. She brought San and I to the hospital. She didn't even say a word about San Ni's matter to Father Zhou and Mother. After all, it was a private matter. There was nothing to say. Just treat it and it'll be fine. Nothing else needed to be said. San and I came over for a full body check. Then Lin Qing, he took her over to find the doctor. The doctor read it and prescribed the medicine. It wasn't a big problem. It was a common gynecological illness and some physical weakness. Don't have intercourse these one week. The doctor finally instructed after the prescription was checked. This made San and I feeling embarrassed. Lin Qing, he didn't think anything and said, properly take this medicine on time. Then come to check up regularly. Then if I have time, I will come with you. If there is a class, I will call Air and I to come with you. Don't be embarrassed about seeing the doctor when ill, understand? 
N, I understand. Zhou San and I blushingly nodded. But it was undeniable that when she heard the doctor said that it needed to be treated well and there were no other big problems, she was relieved. Getting pregnant was no problem. That was her worry. Lin Qing, he took her back and came over to the women's clothing store. CNI was also present. CNI had already chosen her clothes. She pursed her lips and said in embarrassment, Fourth aunt, will this be too costly? What's costly? One person each get two set of clothes. If you want more, buy it yourself. You can get it at cost price. Lin Qing, he said. San and I, I picked this for you. Check if it fits. Go in and try it. Joe San and I brought two other clothes over and urged. Fourth aunt, leave it. Joe San and I hurriedly said. The bill for her treatment was already paid by her fourth aunt. That can't do. You sisters and Aigua all gets two sets of clothes. Although the previous ones aren't bad, the image got to be better when selling products. Lin Qing, he maintained. Her side didn't require makeup or anything to make one coquettish. Having a clean face and a good spirit was also a must. Hearing her put it like this, Zhou San and I meekly took her clothes and tried them. As proved, Zhou Ernie's vision was molded well. Like quite good. Both clothes were suitable for Zhou San and I. Then these two. Lin Qing, he was satisfied, said. Zhou Xinyi's two outfits were also very good looking. Zhou Er and I bought another one for her at the cost price. Zhou San and I didn't. People at this time were still very frugal. Was two change of clothes enough? There were also their old clothes, so can just take them off occasionally. Lin Qing, he didn't find it strange. When she first arrived, she wasn't as unruffled as Air and I. Now Air and I was trained by her, she can be independent. San and I, you stay with your sister Air and I sister and learn from her. Also, on Aigua's side, it's a good idea for him to recognize the road to the shop today. But starting tomorrow, he will go to the men's shop and learn to do business. Lin Qing, he said. Okay, I'll tell him when he comes back. Zhou San and I replied. Air and I, help pick two sets and leave them for your third brother-in-law. Lin Qing, he instructed. Hu Zi has already helped pick it out. It's over there, Zhou Air and I replied. Lin Qing, he nodded at this and then handed the shop to them. She came to the dumpling shop by herself to find her Qing Bai. Zhou Qingbai was mincing the mashed meat for a while. Seeing her come, he asked, Are you tired? It's still okay. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. So when Zhou Xian came back from the leisurely summer vacation, Zhou Qingbai sent him a mission, take you sister, San and I, and sister C and I around. He froze, I don't have much time. Call third. Zhou Gui Lai was still watching his second brother's good show. He rolled his eyes and said, Second, do you have any conscience? I'm be busy this summer vacation. Now our parents are back and feel distress about having it tough at such small age. You still want to continue to enslave me? You're one meter eighty. How are you small? Zhou Xian raised his eyebrows. I am not small, but I am young. Zhou Gui Lai returned, I'm only fifteen years old. None of the three sons of Lin Qing, he, were short. Lin Qing, he felt that she had to raise them according to modern food standards. She wouldn't shrink the diet because of the poor surroundings. The food had always been excellent. So these three brothers were basically 1.8 meters and up. The eldest, Zhou Kai, was the tallest. However, the latter two won't be much shorter in the future. Zhou Xian was 17 this year and reached 1.85 meters. Although he was growing slowly now, he was still growing. Not to mention Zhou Gui Lai. This kid won't be any worse than his elder brothers in the future. Maybe he will be the tallest in the family. In the end, it was useless for Zhou Xian to resist. He could only take Zhou San and I and Zhou Xian and I out to explore. 
As for his tutoring lesson, it was actually over because school will start in a few days. The family that was getting the tutoring wanted to let the children relax. Zhou Xian took Zhou Sen and I, Zhou Si and I, and Li Ai Gua for two days to visit a lot of scenery. It had led them to know a lot of places and gain a lot of knowledge. After this, they began to serving in the clothing store. Not only the clothing store, but also the dumpling store and the beverage store. These training were left to matching men to arrange. Lin Qing, he had already started preparing lessons. Zhou Xian and Zhou Gui Lai were also preparing to go to school. Especially Zhou Gui Lai. The freshman got military training. Lin Qing, he gave him a bottle of sunscreen which was bought in a department store. It got images of women in swimsuits printed on it. A sunscreen of this era. After school started, Lin Qing, he and her sons were busy. Zhou Sen and I, Zhou Si and I, and Li Ai Guo were working hard to learn to integrate into the life here in the capital. Although the dry goods shop was said to be in renovation, in fact it can be said that it was being rebuilt. It cost a lot of money. It was completely set up a week after the beginning of school. A room, a kitchen and a toilet were added. All the water taps, etc. were also connected. The electrical circuit too. After visiting, Zhou San and I and Li Ai Guo were a little excited. From now on, this was where they live? Chapter 468 Big Truck, the dry goods shop had been fully decorated, but the dry goods haunt been delivered yet. It was five days after the decoration finished, when Lin Qing he made time to make a trip with Zhou Qing Bai and then took out the family truck. A whole truck of goods was transported by Zhou Qing Bai to the dry goods shop. Lin Qing, he came with him and helped to arrange the goods. This time there weren't many types of goods. Just fish gelatin, sea cucumber, abalone, dried cuttlefish, and dried salted fish. Each were in large quantities. After the truck was unloaded, the originally empty shop seemed very full now. Lin Qing, he had already set the price of the goods. There was a list of the price of everything prepared. The profits were basically set at half. What's more, there weren't many types. It was easy to adapt, so she told them to start selling. But because the things weren't cheap and the couple had learned to do business for almost half a month, Lin Qing, he still called Hu Zi to come over here to help. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai drove over to the dumpling shop. Zhou Gui Lai and Zhou Xian, who were busy in the dumpling shop, were attracted by the truck. Dad, Mom, is this our truck? Zhou Xian, who was always calm, couldn't help feeling a little excited now. One got to know, they had been pining on Wan Yuan's car for a long time. But that was too expensive. Few tens of thousands. Required grouping a few ten thousand household to afford it. So they didn't hold any hope. Unexpectedly, their parents bought a truck back. Asked someone from the factory in the south to drive over and bring this load of good. I called and rushed it a few times. It only arrived now. Lin Qing, he bragged without any practice obviously the sons didn't pay attention to this. Mom, how much is this truck? Zhou Gui Lai asked as he climbed into the driver's seat. Dead expensive. All the savings at home were spent. Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Still worth it. Dad, teach me. If supplies need to be bought in the future, I can just drive over and buy it. Zhou Gui Lai said immediately. No, you are too young. Zhou Qing Bai flatly refused. Lin Qing, he also piped in, that right. How old you are? You dare to learn to drive? Wait until you are 18 years old. Mom, I can learn. Zhou Xian said. That's right. I can't learn. Second brother can. He is 17 and he's that tall. Zhou Gui Lai knew that he had no chance learning to drive judging by his dad's nonchalant tone. He can only fight for his second brother. If his second brother can master it, it will be much easier to go out in the future. They can go soak in the hot spring again. 
Because the car belonged to Wang Yuan, the future brother-in-law, they can't really go to the hot spring all the time. But if they own a car, they can go anytime, right? All right. You can learn, second. Lin Qing, he nodded. Once his wife spoke, Zhou Qingbai didn't have any other comments and said, find a place to learn by yourself. After getting the driver's license, you can touch the car. Zhou Xian instantly agreed. Zhou Qingbai went into the shop to work away. Lin Qing, he called her two sons, get in the car. Mom will take you around. Mom, you can drive? Zhou Xian said in a daze. Your old mom took the driving license test in the south. So, sons, don't underestimate your old mom. Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows. Seeing that their mom could actually drive, both of them were stunned. My mom, I feel that there isn't anything you can't do in this world. Zhou Gui Lai responded and flattered. Where do you want to go? Lin Qing, he said. Whatever you want. Mom, just drive around. Zhou Xian replied. Mom, let's find time to go to the hot springs. I missed the last time I went. It's been so long since then. Zhou Gui like jollily brought up. We can find a time to soak. Lin Qing, he nodded. When the time comes, she will find Mother Wang to go together. Zhou Xiaomei too. As for Mother Zhou, she didn't plan to take her. The last time, she grumbled all the way back. Even when she knew that the elderly were used to being frugal, Lin Qing, he still didn't buy her words. How about next Sunday? Zhou Gui Lai hurriedly asked. We'll see. If there's time, we'll go. Lin Qing, he drove the car. Her driving skills were particularly stable, so she brought them to Wang Yuan's garment factory. Wang Yuan happened to be standing outside. He saw them. What's more, it was the sight of fourth and actually driving. When they went to the hot springs this year, he had heard Zhou Qing Bai mention it. But it was only when Wang Yuan saw Lin Qing, he driving such a truck, did he truly felt admiration. Fourth aunt, you are too astounding. When they got out of the car, Wang Yuan greeted them and exclaimed. It's just driving a car. What's there to be surprised about? Lin Qing, he waved her hand. Wang Yuan smiled, though it said like that, there aren't many women who can drive. He hadn't witnessed it before. Lin Qing, he brought down some dried seafood like fish gelatin, abalone, and sea cucumber from the car and said, I prepared these for you. I originally wanted get Air and I to bring it to you, but Air and I is currently busy. So I brought it here. We're having big sea crabs at home in the evening. You can come over and eat them with us. All right. Wang Yuan didn't act reserved. He smiled and agreed. Lin Qing, he took her two sons over to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side. She also brought some dry goods here. In addition, there were a few large crabs, which were from a separate box. There were a lot of people on this side, so a few were allocated to here. However, the dried goods and sea crabs didn't shock Father Zhou and Mother Zhou as much as the truck. This was bought by the two of you? Father Zhou uttered with excitement. How much does it cost? Mother Zhou couldn't help but said with a glowing red face. My mom said that the money at home was basically emptied. Zhou Gui Lai answered. It doesn't matter if it is all spent. The shop can still make money. The car is useful in the future. Like getting supplies or something. You will definitely earn it back. Father Zhou said boldly. His son bought a car. His son was someone with a car. Ching Bai didn't come? Mother Zhou looked around and froze before uttering, Who drove over just now? I drove. Lin Ching, he answered. After saying this, she felt that the gleam in her mother in law's eyes was very different. Of course, Mother Zhou's gaze changed. She really couldn't find anything Fourth's wife couldn't do. Look at this, she can even drive a car like this. Father, mother, those big sea crabs cooked by steaming. 
we'll head back first to work away. Lin Ching, he couldn't stand her mother-in-law's gaze, and said. Wait, fourth's wife, grab a chicken back to nourish your body. I hate saved a lot of eggs during this period. Take some back to make some the egg soup to eat. Mother Zhou hurriedly spoke. Chapter 469 Big transaction when Lin Qing, he carried a hen and a basket of eggs, Mother Zhou's grin was still on her face. The neighboring old madam who couldn't bear it anymore and asked, In-law's grandma, your daughter-in-law just drove over in a car. That car belongs to your son and daughter-in-law? Mother Zhou can't tolerate being with her and old Madame Zhu very much. She hadn't talked to old Madame Hu for a long time. She recently made some new friends over there in the park. Could be bothered with these neighbors. However, after hearing this, Mother Zhou reluctantly responded, It's fourth's wife. My fourth daughter-in-law drove the car by herself. She sent us big crabs, as well as these abalones. There isn't much, so I won't gift some to you. No need to doubt. She deliberately said to stir old madam who's craving. Old madam who wasn't tempted. However, old madam Zhu, who just came out, became greedy. Still, old madam who was shocked in her heart. This old Zhou family's aunt was really amazing. She could even drive a big truck by herself. There was nothing wrong with knowing to drive. If she was a few decade younger, she would go learn. The most important point was whether they can afford it. Such a large truck was over ten thousands, right? Was old Joe family that rich? It wasn't just old Madame who, who thought like this. After old Madame Zhu returned home, her heart ached. She knew old Joe family had opened a lot of shops. It must be profitable. Otherwise, why would they open one after another? If her granddaughter had successfully matched at that time, how well married her granddaughter would be now. There was no need to worry at all in the future. Recently, her granddaughter got someone introduced to her. Going through them, it was still those few crooked melons being introduced. None of them entered her eyes. It seems only Zhou Kai was good. With such height, no one dared to bully him when he went out. The young man was full of vitality. At first glance, one can tell he was a capable young man. But old Joe family didn't like her granddaughter. How good her granddaughter was. She was just right for Zhou Kai. A perfect match made in heaven. Especially looking at old Joe family now. They were developing well. Such a large truck had been bought. Old Madame Zhu felt heart and liver hurt after thinking about it. But the other party didn't have that blessing. She had nothing to say. Buying back this truck naturally caused a stir. Zhou Qingbai requested the staffs under his hands to learn to drive. After all, there was a vehicle available now. Can't just have the two of them knowing how to drive E. Both of them were very busy. Hu Zi was the first to arrange to learn to drive. Hu Zi and Er and I didn't have to go to night school now. They were considered junior graduates. From now on, they only need to self-study. From time to time, they got to participate in advancements. While CNI and Gang Z will continue to study at night school. Once Hu Z learned how to, you will learn too, Ching Min. Lin Ching, he directed at Ma Ching Min, Ma Ching Min, shook his head, forget it. I'll just use a bicycle. You still have to learn even if you need it or not in the future. What's more, you get paid to learn. Lin Qing, he said. Ma Qing Min hesitated for a moment before nodding. At the same time, he was a little excited. If he can learn to drive, he want to learn. Whether it was can be used or not, it was a skill, right? Only Hu Zi, Ma Qing Min and Zhou Xian were learning to drive. As for the others, they have to wait until they were 18 years old, including Gang Zi. Lin Qing, he originally wanted to get Zhou Er and I to learn too. She was training Zhou Er and I as if she was her own daughter. So how could she miss out on driving lessons? But Wang Yuan was against it. It wasn't that he wanted to stop Zhou Er and I developing. Mainly because he was worried. 
Lin Qing, he understood. The cars at this time were still quite different from the cars of later generations. For example, they weren't small in strength and was more complicated. Lin Qing, he herself was master one, master all. However, it would be a little difficult for Zhou Er and I to grasp it. What's more, what Wang Yuan said was right. He can drive was enough. He will pick her up and send her wherever she wants to go. What need was there for her to learn? So Lin Qing, he reconsidered and let it drop. Discuss it in the future. Anyway, if she really want to learn in the future, there are opportunities available. Nowadays, the working hours for the shops under Lin Qing, he had been specially regulated. It was all in shifts, so everyone had time to go date or something. That day, Lin Qing, he pulled out the phone number of the Southern Seafood Factory's office. Zhou San and I, and Li Ai Gui's dry goods shops business was very good. At least so far, the inventory was pretty low. So Lin Qing, he needed to restock. This time's purchase was a large transaction. Nearly 4,000 yuan of goods. When they were in the South, they came into agreement on how much goods must be bought to be cost effective. Now she had directly bought 4,000 yuan in goods. The seafood boss was also very satisfied. The goods was ordered and the time was agreed. Then the phone was hung up. It wasn't that Lin Qing, he had never thought about installing a phone at home. After some contemplation, she abandoned the thought. Because the initial installation fee was too expensive at this time. Few thousands yuan. Simply sky-high price. With that much money, why can't it be spent on something other than installing such a phone? Only a few phone calls was made in a month. So she gave up on it. She can always use the office phone. In a month, it was only three or four calls. Not too much. The goods arrived five days later. That side was swift. Lin Qing, he, and Zhou Qing Bai had already come to meet them. Verbal quantity check and some information match was needed. Only then, did one hand pass the money and the other receive the goods. It was quite swift. Your capital side is really developed. The two grown lads who came here this time were the boss's nephews. After all, one won't be assured to hand over such a big business to the workers below. Ain't that right? How about taking you around? Lin Qing, he said politely. Can't. We will definitely disturb if we have a chance in the future, the two replied. Lin Qing, he and Zhou Qing Bai sent them off the same way they came. Then they drove the car over to the dried goods shop. The goods here are just about to be out of stock. Fortunately, new ones have arrived. Zhou San and I happily chirped. Can't let it be out of stock. Lin Qing, he said. She got Zhou Qing Bai and Li Ai Gua to move the goods. She dragged Zhou San and I into the room. She was busy these days and didn't have time to check up on Zhou San Ni's situation. It's better now, Zhou San and I slightly embarrassedly responded. She was overjoyed in her heart. The medical treatment in the capital was really excellent. She only went back and forth three times and the situation improved significantly. Of course, she had learned a lot about personal hygiene and husband and wife hygiene. She had blushed when she taking it in. Chapter 470 Nothing to show during the first seven days when the dry goods shop opened, Hu Zi came over early in the morning every day to help. After five consecutive days of helping, he was no longer needed. Li Ai Gua and Zhou San and I were both competent. The couple lived there by themselves. Although the place was a bit crowded, the conditions weren't bad. Especially since they were near the big market. They can eat whatever they want. The sum of the couple's wages wasn't low, they can afford a decent meal. At least Lin Qing, he noticed Zhou San and I and Li Ai Gua's complexion improved after coming here. Because there was such a large truck of goods coming, it went without saying the shop was filled. And because they were too valuable, Zhou San and I and Li Ai Gua kept a cautious eye on them. Every night, they have to take stock of them to see if there is anything amiss. 
In terms of working attitude, it was top-notch. Of course, Ma Ching Min also had to come to take inventory at the end of each month. It wasn't just this side. The other shops were the same except for the dumpling shop run by Zhou Qing Bai. When the handover was completed, Lin Qing, he was in a good mood and came back to the dumpling shop with Zhou Qing Bai. Second was holding the spoon. However, there was an uninvited guest sitting in the dumpling shop. It wasn't anyone other than Su Xing Mei, who hadn't been seen for a long time. When Su Xing Mei saw the husband and wife come back, her eyes lingered on the truck. She greeted, Uncle, Aunt. God knew how shocked she was when she went to Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side today and got told by this grand aunt in law that her uncle had bought a truck. She naturally knew that her uncle and aunt's family was well off. They had a job and a store. She had never been in contact with the purchase cost before, so she wasn't very clear about the profit. But even if she didn't know the profit, she knew whether the business was good or not. Otherwise, how could she have opened another after another? Even like this, Su Xingmei never thought that her uncle's family could afford a large truck. Regardless of whether this was a truck or any kind of vehicle, it was a four-wheeled one. A four-wheeled one was different. Zhao Jun had wanted to buy one. It took until half a month ago before Father Zhao bought a Hongqi car. It cost a few tens of thousands. It made the entire Zhao family's face go up. Zhao Jun can drive. Su Mei was often drove around by him. This made her feel lucky for her decision more than once. If she didn't pick Zhao Jun, would she have such a good life? So her old decision wasn't wrong. Because Zhao family bought it, Su Mei knew how rare these four-wheel cars were. So she really didn't expect that her uncle would be able to buy a car. Even when she knew that his shop made money, it was a difficult feat to buy such a truck no matter how profitable it was. But her uncle had bought it. Why do you got time to come? Zhou Qingbai saw that his wife hadn't even responded and spoke. I just visited grandma and grandpa. I come and see them a few times every month. Su Xingmei said. This was why Lin Qing, he looks up to Su Xingmei a little bit. Because if this white lotus flower got a few more years of cultivation, she would be really excellent. She was still a bit green now. Uncle, I went to my grandparents' place and found out that you bought a car. That's really amazing. This car must be costly? Su Xingmei continued. Ain't that right? All the money at home had been depleted on this and even borrowed a lot from others. Lin Qing, he replied. Su Xing Mei said softly, Don't worry, aunt. I didn't intend to borrow money. I just heard that you bought a car with my uncle and felt overjoyed. I came here to congratulate you. Look, how good her words were. But this heart wasn't on the right path, so Lin Qing he straightforwardly uttered, I heard that you are very close with Zhang Meilian, the daughter of old Zhang family, from next door? Someone has witnessed it a good few times. Saying you guys were talking and laughing. That was all a long time ago. After I found out about her matter, I didn't talk to her much. Su Mei's face was a little stiff. That's okay. Otherwise I would have thought that you knew her origin and identity and still wanted to encourage her to be with Hu Zi. Hu Zi is your cousin and he's good to you. You can't harm Hu Zi like that. Lin Qing, he said. What are you saying aunt? I don't have that kind of mind. Su Xingmei shook her head. Lin Qing, he scanned her a few times. It was truly right to say she was young. The gaze in her eyes wasn't steady enough. As expected, she held bad intentions. Lin Qing, he didn't catch her on the spot so she didn't bother to go at her. Zhao family also bought a car, which cost about 40,000 yuan. Not cheap at all. Su Xingmei changed the direction of the conversation. It's Zhao family who bought it. Not Zhao Jun, right? Lin Qing, he pointed out. Su Xingmei's smile stiffened and said, it's too expensive. How can Zhao Jun afford it? Wang Yuan can afford it. Air and I got a day off yesterday. 
Wang Yuan, drove her out to go on a date. I heard from Air and I that they ate some steaks and wines. That restaurant is quite high-end. There's people specialize in playing a guitar. Lin Qing, he mentioned. Su Xing Mei felt her heart was stabbed. Of course she knew Zhou Erni's boyfriend was flawless. He was very rich. He opened a garment factory and had more than 500 workers. Her grandma said that it was expanding and recruiting in the past two years. How big was this factory to accommodate so many people? Moreover, with so many people under his hand, it was unimaginable how much money was made. It was no wonder that he can afford a car by himself. She took great pains to marry Zhao Jun. Although she was married very well, it was far worse than Zhou Erni's marriage. Especially since she heard that Wang Yuan was very good to Zhou Erni. Doubted her like she was the apple of his eyes. Su Xingmei felt uncomfortable in her heart. Aunt, I'll go to the shop and find Sister Erni to sit around. Su Xingmei couldn't stand staying here anymore and forced herself to say. Air and I is very busy. Lin Qing, he responded. I won't get in her way. Su Xing Mei finished speaking and went over. Lin Qing, he waited for her to leave before harumphing softly. Zhou Qing Bai was calm throughout. Zhou Xian simply read his book and didn't dare to interrupt anything. The father and son knew which side to take. Aunt Ma was direct. Why does she come here so frequently when you dislike her? Teacher Lin. I also don't understand. Before, my eyes were wrong. Her face can be so thick. My dislike toward her is clear. But look at her. She can come here from time to time. Made it seems like I, the elder is holding past matters without ever letting it go. Lin Qing, he said in disgust. Aunt Ma was very clear and spoke, she wants you relatives. Otherwise, she had nothing to show in Zhao family. Chapter 471 Business deal Aunt Ma knew the insider story and was clear how Lin Qing he treated this niece in the past. She had wanted to train her. Who could have known that she did such a thing? In the end, Zhao family did take responsibility. But would it be over after that? Look at younger self and one will see their older self. The character of a person can be revealed in such matter. Aunt Ma felt that Lin Qing, he's dislike wasn't harsh. It was reasonable, because she was in education sector. It would be weird that she would agree to this kind of act. Aunt Ma was very supportive of Lin Qing he. She disliked Su Xingmei even more, because Su Xingmei looked down on her. It was like this in the past. When her uncle and aunt were present, she would help with the table or something, as if she was very diligent. When her uncle and aunt were gone, she would be lazy. She wouldn't help even if the soy sauce was spilled. However, Aunt Ma hadn't said anything about it. It was her work. She didn't need help. She can handle it. While Zhou Er and I was a true good girl. Now she was dating a young and promising boss like Wang Yuan. It couldn't be any more perfect. How well did Wang Yuan treat Air and I can be seen clearly by the helper, Aunt Ma. Zhao Jun couldn't compare. When Zhao Jun came over to the dumpling shop, he would complain the shop was too small one moment and that they should buy more fans or something next. After coming over, he was like a master waiting for someone to support him. Truly sick in the mind. Lin Qing, he, and Aunt Ma had always had something to say, but Lin Qing, he didn't bother to say anything about Su Xingmei. In the evening, when Zhou Er and I and Zhou Si and I came back for dinner, Lin Qing, he asked Zhou Er and I. Just went to sit around, Zhou Er and I answered. Your temperament can't outplay her. Don't get too close to her, understand? Lin Qing, he warned. Fourth aunt, don't worry. My second sister knows it well. She's clear that Sister Xingmei is aiming second brother-in-law's clothing factory when interacting with her. Zhou and I spoke. This last changed her way of addressing very quickly. 
Because Wang Yuan gave her a watch, she swiftly changed the title and called him second brother-in-law. It was fine. Wang Yuan and Zhou Er and I were in this current state. Just short of holding a wedding. So she called brother-in-law. Just keep in mind. Lin Qing, he said with satisfaction. Since Su Xingmei's visit began, she had never went to see Er and I. What deep cousinly affection. It started only when she knew that Zhou Er and I dated a wealthy and capable boyfriend, Wang Yuan. Since then, every time she come over, she would find Zhou Er and I to make it seem like they were close. Zhou Er and I smiled and replied, I know, fourth aunt. You don't have to worry. If fourth aunt find out that you let her take advantage, see if fourth aunt will forgive you. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Er and I smiled softly. She really didn't have much chat with this cousin, Su Xing Mei. If there was any difficulty, she will help as much as she can. After all, they were relatives. But she also got her own principles. She will not allow it if it exceed her own principles. Lin Qing, he didn't say anything. After all, people's personalities were different. Ernie's personality was naturally kind and gentle. Otherwise, how could she fascinate Wang Yuan? Wasn't it her traits that Wang Yuan liked? Moreover, with Wang Yuan present, Lin Qing, he wasn't too worried. He was a big boss with nearly 500 employees under his hand. That was to say, to be able to manage such big factory, he got good moves, despite behaving so friendly on their side. Last time Wang Yuan likes the fish gelatin you gave last time and asked me to buy him a hundred yuan of it. Zhou Er and I remembered. How can he eat so much by himself? Give him half a jean. Can't always eat it. Eat it twice a week is more like it. Lin Qing, he responded. She and her family Qing buy ate it twice a week. Same for the children. He probably planned to take it home. He also wants to buy some sea cucumber and abalone. Zhou Er and I spoke. Getting it for old Wang family. Lin Qing, he said. She knew that Wang Yuan's mother didn't like Er and I very much. Still, she gave a 20% discount. If Wang Yuan wants to eat, she can stew it and call him over to eat together. However, Lin Qing, he didn't care about Wang family much. Wang Yuan was, indeed, going to take it back home. He didn't go back many times now. Mainly because he didn't want to go back to hear his mother complain about him going to marry a country wife. But in the end he was the son. He'll be filial when he should. What's more, his factory could run so smoothly was more or less linked to his family. Although this time a lot of good stuffs was brought back, Mother Wang still didn't give any good face. Wang Yuan found it meaningless to stay and went straight back here after a night. He preferred the atmosphere at old Zhou's house, which was relaxed and at ease. So Wang Yuan didn't open stove very much by himself. He either went to eat at Father Zhou and Mother Zhou's side or went to the dumpling shop. The rest was eaten at the factory. In one month, he spent half of it at old Zhou's house. He could also feel that old Zhou family was nice to him and really regarded him as their own. In fact, the reason why Wang Yuan wouldn't take the road arranged by his family was because he felt that their Wang family was too depressing. Including his two brothers. They actually took the political road. Their wives were basically arranged by the family. Wang Yuan can sense that the feelings between his brothers and sisters-in-law weren't great. Therefore, Wang Yuan felt it was fortunate that he had got into business. Because he made good progress, he had his own right to speak. Even when his voice was small in the whole family, he can at least find a wife who he likes and also likes him. When he returned to the factory that day, he ran into Su Xingmei in the living room. Second brother-in-law. Seeing him come back, Su Xingmei got up and smilingly greeted, Second brother-in-law. I heard the manager say that you might not come over today. Wang Yuan naturally recognized Su Xingmei and knew about her matters. He asked, what's the matter? Second brother-in-law, I want to talk to you about a business deal. 
Su Xingmei looked at his expression and knew that it wasn't time for small talks. She went straight to the point. You? Wang Yuan glanced at her and spoke, want to talk business with me, get your man come over. My orders aren't small. Su Xingmei choked and said, second brother-in-law, the order I want isn't small. Then you can talk to my manager. Remember, you have to pay a 30% deposit first. After Wang Yuan finished speaking, he beckoned his childhood friend. Then he turned around and went into his office. Su Xingmei's expression was a bit ugly. She didn't expect Wang Yuan to be so awkward to talk with. When he was with her grandparents, he was buttering them up. Have you brought the 30% deposit? Our side is pay on the spot. The manager said. Chapter 472 The gap too big, what deposit? If she had money, would she wait for Wang Yuan to come back? Because she had no money, she waited for Wang Yuan. Su Xingmei didn't expect that Wang Yuan, who was respectful and obedient in front of her grandparents, would be so unrestrained when he was with her. It wasn't that he spoke rudely. After all, such a big boss can speak to her with such attitude was all right. It was just too businesslike? Su Xingmei wasn't satisfied and didn't want to leave like like this. After all, it was rare to come here. Didn't bring deposit? I'm afraid I can't queue up your order. We are still very tight now. It's because you are a relative of our boss, so that you can jump in the line. The manager said. Su Xingmei's smile was forced and said, I did not bring any cash today. Let me go back and prepare. Okay. The manager was calm and sent her out. Wang Yuan's car was parked at the factory. How rich was he to buy such a car and such a big factory on his own? Even Zhao family's factory's large number of staff, it was only more than 200. Su Xingmei went back to look for Zhao Jun. When she got home, Zhao Jun was sleeping and smelled of alcohol. Seeing his appearance, Su Xingmei was a little annoyed. The man she managed to find was like that. He can't be compared with Wang Yuan. The guy was about the same age as Zhao Jun, but look at his achievements. When compared with the guy, Zhao Jun was nothing at all. It was no wonder her grandma and grandpa didn't like him. But what can be done? Now that she had married, she can only going down that road. Zhao Jun was sleeping soundly when he got aroused by her. He spoke in a bad mood, I'm sleeping. Why are you causing a ruckus? Zhao Jun, I know it's not easy for you, but we always have to think of ideas now. We can't keep going on like this. If the family's separate, what can we get then? Su Xun Mei took a deep breath and said softly. Family separate? What family separate? Dad and mom are still so young, what's the point of separating? Don't be idle day by day and just think about the non-existent. Zhao Jun muttered in a bad mood. Su Xing Mei was almost collapsed from anger. She had never seen such a brainless person. So many people in this family. If they don't plan for themselves first, they will have nowhere to cry when they get nothing in the future. She didn't waste saliva with Zhao Jun and said, you know my uncle, right? He has bought a truck now. So what? It's just a truck. We also have a car. It's more high-end than that cargo pulling thing. Zhao Jun harumphed when he heard these words. Zhou Qing Bai and Lin Qing, he didn't like him. He also didn't care about the old Zhou family. And their attitude towards him. If they really needed to borrow money or something, it would be weird if they would lend him. That being the case, why should he go there? What was so great about opening a few broken shops? Su Xingmei spoke, I guess it's profitable to open a shop. Or else they wouldn't have such large sum to buy such a vehicle back. Zhao Jun didn't say a word. He had to admit that the household circumstance was all right since they could afford a truck. Even when it can't compare to his high-end car. After all, it cost a lot of money. Zhao Jun, the owner of the garment factory that my uncle cooperates with is my cousin's boyfriend. I think they are going to get married. 
I went to his garment factory and took a look today. Do you know how big the garment factory is? Su Xingmei said. Without Zhao Jun asking her, she went on, that factory is bigger than our Zhao families. Do you know how many workers there are? 500 workers. I was shocked when I heard it. 500 workers? Are you sure? Zhao Jun was shocked and stared at her. There were only more than 200 people in Zhao family's factory. Even so, it was still very large. The other party's garment factory got more than 500 people? Can I possibly use such words to coax you? I originally wanted to go over and discuss business with him today. Su Xing may pursed her lips. In fact, she wanted to go over to trick White Wolf with empty hand and get the goods first to try and sell it. But obviously Wang Yuan didn't give her face at all. He simply deflected it. Zhao Jun asked, what kind of business deal? Don't our family have a shop? Although it belongs to dad and mom, it is currently empty. I wondered if I could get those clothes to sell. However, a deposit is required. Su Xing Mei replied. Then she looked at Zhao Jun, he also said to talk business, you got to go over to talk with him. Zhao Jun, how about you go over? I'll go with you and connect this link. It will definitely be good for our future development. That factory is really big. He wants a deposit? What deposit do we have? Zhao Jun didn't really want to go, moreover, the shop is under the name of dad and mom. If we just open business like this, sister-in-law and others will not agree. At most, our money goes to the public account. That way, they will have a share too. They won't disagree. Su Xingmei gritted her teeth. Zhao Jun rolled his eyes and said, why should toss around if it enters the public account? The reason why he was moved was because he thought that money can be put into his pocket. It wasn't their money if it was put into the public account. Why go through such painstaking effort? Su Xing Mei truly felt powerless. Why didn't he consider that those who have work and things to do have the right to speak in the family? Now both of them were eating idle meal at home. Even when she took care of everything in the house properly, her mother-in-law and sisters-in-law looked down upon her. But if there was a shop in hand to make money, then who in Zhao family would dare to look down on them, husband and wife? If you want to do it, then you can find mom by yourself. Besides, don't you still have money? You can do it by yourself. Zhao Jun waved his hand and dismissed. Would Su Xingmei come to him if she had money? She did have some money in her hands, but the money was sent back. Her parents wanted to build a new house. She gave 500 yuan. Basically, all the money. Su Xing may supports the matter of building a house. Otherwise, she won't give so much money. This way, her family will also have face, right? After all, with a son-in-law from the capital, it can't remain the same as before, right? If she had time to go back in the future, it would be glorious. The previous home was too dirty and too small. It was no wonder that Zhao Jun, who was used to living in the big house at that time, didn't want to live in their home. The gap was really too big. Because the money was given to her family, she naturally didn't have much money right now. So she wanted to get it from Zhao Jun. He didn't want to do it. Fine. She'll do it herself. Want money from me? What about your own? Zhao Jun was so annoyed that he spoke in displeasure. Chapter 473 Strictly business, my maternal family built a house. I had sent it back. Su Xingmei knew that she couldn't hide it, so she explained. Zhao Jun froze when he heard this. Then, he was annoyed, what is thing? What does your maternal family building house have to do with you? You're not going to live in it, so why did you give the money? And gave few hundreds? Sure enough, it was a poor rural relative. If one got leached on, nothing good come from it. Even building a house got to rely on them Zhao family for money? Su Xingmei could only say, it's good that my family build a house there. 
What's more, our whole village will know that we can afford to build a house is all thanks to you, the capital's son-in-law. Besides, don't you dislike my earthen house? When we go back next time, it will be a brick house. It is a very bright brick house. You will have more face when you go back. Enough you. Going to that mountain home once is enough. I will never go again. Zhao Jun uttered with disgust. The last time he went to her family's house, it was a nightmare. He would never go a second time. It was unbearable. Zhao Jun, I'm doing it for our future. My uncle's business is good, so they opened one after another. Now the supply is available and we got a shop. Why don't we try it? Su Xing Mei persuaded. If you want to, try it yourself. Don't drag me in with you. Zhao Jun said impatiently. Then you give me some money. I'll go find mom and say it myself. Su Xing Mei replied. Zhao Jun gave her 200 yuan. Su Xing Mei was angry. What was this 200 yuan enough for? But she didn't say anything. Since it was going to enter the public account, the capital must also be paid by Zhao family. It was just that she overestimated her voice in Zhao's house. When she proposed it, she was directly rejected by Mother Zhao. She also received a round of sarcastic remarks and was told to stay at home and not mess around with some clothing store. Zhao family's factory was that big. They were figures with face in this area. Wouldn't it be shameful if Zhao family's daughter-in-law become a sole trader? Su Xing Mei was extremely vexed. Zhang Mei Lian came over to look for her. Su Xing Mei didn't have anyone to voice out her bitterness to, so it went without saying she complained to her. Zhang Mei Lian responded in displeasure when she heard this, On this matter, I must really tell you off. Your young Madam Zhao. Why don't properly take your place and go through such trouble? You don't have to do anything to get money. How glorious! Su Xing Mei rolled her eyes, but she understood Zhang Mei Lian's point. After all, she came from a small household, what would she know? How could she know the days weren't great in Zhao family, despite appearing high and mighty? Oh, you have it good. Married so well. Unlike me. Huang Hu, that country boy, didn't even set his eyes on me? Zhang Mei Lian grumbled. Don't be discouraged. It's not that Hu Zi doesn't fancy you. You are pretty and have a job. If you can marry Hu Zi, Hu Zi will wake up with a smile in the middle of the night. Su Xing Mei comforted. Then why doesn't he want to be with me? Zhang Mei Lian asked. My aunt doesn't approve. But really you. How did you make your reputation so bad? My aunt likes to put up pretense the most. Because she is a teacher, she can't allow a single grain of sand in her eyes. Don't talk about you. She give me any good attitude either, because I didn't go through her approval and dated Zhao Jun. Su Xing Mei said. It's better that you didn't listen to her. Look how well you married. Zhang Mei Lian remarked. Let's not talk about this. What did you find me for today? Su Xing Mei asked. Zhang Mei Lian said, It's nothing. Just want to come and chat with you. You area is so rich. Is there any good introduction for me? I will remember your kindness. Su Xing Mei had already guessed. Every time Zhang Mei Lian came over, she was dressed very nicely and looked well behaved. Sitting in this park, her eyes were looking around. She was eyeing at those unmarried men, right? Toward those grandpas and grannies, she was gentle and kind and spoke politely. To put it bluntly, she wanted to get those people's fondness. Then get referred, right? Have to say, Zhang Mei Lian's plan was pretty good. This area was full of rich people. Many were better than Zhao family. Su Xing Mei never intended to help. The things she did. Who knows how many guys she been through. It was fine if it haven't spread to this side. But if the other party go to that side to find out, all those old Zhang families matter will reach on here. If she introduced, then won't she get implicated? 
So needless to say, Su Xingmei didn't want to introduce a guy. However, on the surface, she said, this is nothing. If I encounter someone, I will definitely introduce him to you. You are so beautiful. I have face to introduce you. Zhang Mei Lian was very satisfied. Don't know how the two end up discussing and plan to partner up to do business in the end. It was a clothing business. Wang Yuan was fair. As long as one gave money, he will give the goods. No credit or family card was permitted. All followed the same principle. Lin Qing, he learned of this from Zhou Er and I. Of course, she didn't know that Su Xing Mei was cooperating with Zhang Mei Lian. Just thought Su Xing Mei opened it herself and went to Wang Yuan's garment factory to get the goods. Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows and said, What did Wang Yuan say? He didn't say anything. His temper is like that. Strictly business. Zhou Er and I sighed. Lin Qing, he laughed, what's with this sigh? This method is right, no? In fact, the wholesale price given by Wang Yuan wasn't low. The profit was much lower than that of Lin Qing he. Lin Qing he can be regarded as an old customer. And received old customer's price. While Su Xing Mei paid it according to the order price of the new customer. Moreover, Su Xing Mei's order wasn't very large. So there wasn't much discount. Of course, as long as it was a business at this time, it will be easy to do. There will definitely be profits. She didn't expect the clothing store to be as prosperous as Lin Qing, he sighed. As long as it can pass, there will always be a profit of few hundred yuan a month. After hearing about Lin Qing, he didn't mind. As long as Su Xingmei didn't come here to disturb old Zhou family's life, she can do whatever she wants. While her business here had restocked again. It hadn't been long for the dry goods shop. About ten or so days. The business there was great. That big market got a lot of other things being sold, but selling her kind of dried seafood wasn't really much. What's more, it was all well-known nutritional products. These things at this time weren't as expensive as later generations. They weren't cheap though. There were still many people who buy them. So Lin Qing, he prepared to continue ordering. Chapter 474 Two guys fighting over a girl it will take a lot of time for the goods to be delivered, so it was necessary to book in advance. She planned to see if there were any of these in Dalian next summer. If there was, it will be more closer. And the supply channel won't be only one. But this was next year's matter. Right now, they will temporarily order it at the big seafood factory in the south. It was the same amount of goods ordered last time. The boss praised on the phone that the economy here was good. So many goods was sold so quickly. Lin Qing, he laughed, the price I set is low. Basically, didn't make much money. So boss, you have to lower it for me. A customer like me isn't a normal customer. That goes without saying. The price given to you is the lowest. I will increase the price for others, but drop it for you. What's more, I will get someone to deliver it to you. These are all benefits. The seafood boss wasn't someone easy to deal with and responded like this. Lin Qing, he grinned. She didn't expect the other party to lower the price for her. It was just all talk. The time was agreed and then they hung up. Lin Qing, he also went home after class. She saw Zhou San and I at the shop. Seeing Lin Qing he's return, Zhou San and I called with joy, fourth aunt. It's rare to come here. Have lunch here? Lin Qing, he asked. No need. At this moment, it is relatively idle, so I came over to borrow two books from Er and I. When I'm at the shop, I'll get Aigua to teach me to read. Zhou San and I shyly said. The granddaughters of old Zhou family had studied. Like Zhou Da and I, Zhou Er and I, and Zhou Wu and I. But these were the daughters of first branch and third branch. Second branch didn't get much study. Not only did the girls not study much, even the son, Zhou Xia, didn't reach a high level of education. 
Compared with the other two branch, second branch obviously didn't give much priority to education. Still, Zhou San and I knew some words. This was learned with Zhou De and I and Zhou Er and I when they were young. At that time, they went to school. Zhou San and I also wanted to go, but how could her mother possibly agree? She had a good relationship with De and I and Er and I. They had taught her when they came back from from class. That's why she knew some words, but not a lot. But after coming here, Zhou San and I felt that knowledge was very important. Even if she can't request to go to the night school or something like Er and I and the others, she still wanted to recognize more words. Li Aigua had studied for a few years and knew more characters than her. So he can naturally teach her more words. Lin Qing, he was very moved when she heard what she said and said, If you want to study, wait until you learn more words and learn more math. Then you can go to night school with C and I. Night school? Zhou Sa and I was surprised and immediately shook her head, No. I just need to learn words. It costs a lot of money to go to night school. Fourth and allow our old Zhou family that came here to work a chance to enter night school. I will pay the tuition. Of course, if you don't want to go, then I won't force it. During this period, CNI is recognizing words as well as learning arithmetic. Once it reaches a certain level, I would send her there. If you want, you'll enter together. Including you or excluding you, it won't make much difference. Lin Qing, he said. If Zhou Sen and I was willing to go to night school, she wouldn't disapprove. As for Li Ai Gua, forget it. He'll stay in the shop and watch it. This year, there will be a severe crackdown. Although the law and order wasn't bad now, it wasn't great either. Shops weren't cheap, so someone had to guard it. Zhou Sen and I noticed her fourth aunt was serious. It went without saying she was ecstatic. The night school wasn't too far away from her. It took about 30 minutes walk. Zhou Sen and I stayed for a meal at noon and went back after eating. Zhou Er and I mentioned, fourth aunt, the last time I visited grandmother, grandmother was asking, why Sen and I isn't pregnant yet. Lin Qing, he responded, next time your grandmother ask again, you can answer her. Say that the two of them don't want to have children so early. They are still young, so don't worry. Old people like to catch young people and talk about these things endlessly. It seemed that if one haven't been pregnant for half a year, people will look strangely at them. If one haven't been pregnant for a year, they assume there's a problem and have to go to the hospital. San and I was already taking medicine to treat it. So don't put pressure on her. The doctor said it was no problem for young women. Just pay attention to rest and don't exhaust themselves was enough. It will gradually return to normal. Hu Zi learned to drive in half a month. When he came back, he had lost weight. However, he appeared to become more confident. One had to know, in this era, to be able to drive was also a technical skill. Gang Zi was especially envious, aunt, when can I go learn? Bring your coursework over and let me have a look. Lin Qing, he said. Gang Zi's complexion turned bitter. What he feared most was that his aunt checking his homework. Each time, he received a good earful. What he feared most was studying. He did worked very hard, but his aunt's standard was a little bit high. Your brother had reached my requirements. Don't make excuses. Work harder, otherwise you won't be able to graduate early and still have to learn. Lin Qing, he said. Zhou Er and I and Hu Zi both worked very hard and grasped it well, so they were able to graduate early. Otherwise, they would have to continue study for another year and a half. Gang Zi sighed. What are you sighing? We haven't sighed after studying so many years. How long have you been studying? And the last time I went to grandmother's side, I ran into sister Xing Mei. I heard her tell grandmother that Su Xing Chang is putting in effort. Don't get beaten by him. Zhou Gui Lai said. What putting in effort? I haven't seen anyone running faster than him after class. Gang Zi responded. Didn't cause trouble? 
Lin Qing, he said coolly. It was her Qing Bai who introduced him. So she have to ask about it. Gang Zi said, don't think so. Not sure if Lin Qing He's mouth was jinxed. Just a few days after she asked, Su Xing Chang really stirred trouble. He had a fight with another young man at night school. Fight? Why did he fight? Lin Qing, he frowned when she heard about it. For a girl. I heard the two guys were fighting over a girl. The girl got together with him. However, with a turn of a head, she broke up with him. He wasn't happy, so he followed her, and finally finds out she went to night school with another guy. He went up and beat the guy up. Gang Zi had inquired around at that side and said in one breath. Two guys fighting over a girl? Zhou Gui Lai's mouth twitched, that girl must be breathtakingly beautiful? Is she more beautiful than Feng Qingqing? Feng Qingqing was the heroine in the 80s version of The Bund. That actress also acted in The Legend of White Snake. Zhou Gui Lai felt that she was particularly beautiful. Chapter 475 No need to care Gang Zi didn't know how beautiful she was, but the fight was fierce. This was the first fight in the night school. Especially when it was due the relationship between men and women. The impact was pretty bad. The night school wasn't going to ignore it. Your uncle went to settle it? Lin Qing, he said neither coldly or warmly. She was right. She really realized the extent of old Su family's education. Crooked from the root. If Su Xing Chang properly studied over there and really grow, then she won't say anything or let alone stop him. But look, was there any growth? Got in a fight for a woman. Bravo. What gut? Lin Qing, he didn't want to get involved at all. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou both received a shock. Of course, they'll find out such a big matter. Although Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were disappointed with Su Xing Chang, but in their heart, they still hoped that he will grow up. After all, this was their biological grandson. From time to time, they would check on his study progress. They told Er and I and Hu Zi if he didn't understand, teach him. So now this had happened, it can't be concealed. Lin Qing, he went over to find Zhou Xiaomei to take a bath and brought it up to Zhou Xiaomei. Zhou Xiaomei berated, I knew he wasn't a good thing. As expected, he caused trouble again. Can't blame Zhou Xiaomei for scolding him straight away. Since Su Xing Chang came here, how many times had he visited his grandparents? Not even three times. Although Father Zhou and Mother Zhou didn't give him a good face because of him fighting, they still cared about him. But what did he do? Just because Father Zhou and Mother Zhou displayed bad attitude, he won't come anymore. What kind of behavior was this? Once he developed, what can they expect from him? Even if he developed, they don't need rely on this grandson. His attitude was chilling. As the aunt, Zhou Xiaomei took it all in. Naturally she was greatly displeased. Right now hearing this kind of thing had happened, she started scolding. Calm down. Don't worry. I had expected that he won't keep still until something happens. Lin Qing, he said while enjoying a back scrub from Zhou Xiaomei. Zhou Xiaomei spoke, then what to do now? Lin Qing, he replied, I don't know. It's rare chance for me to get out of class, I don't care about these things. Your fourth brother will take care of it. Then she continued, I will only have two classes tomorrow. I have swapped class with other teachers. I plan to drive over to the hot spring and soak. Are you going? Just the two of us? Zhou Xiaomei asked. Of course not. Also a friend of mine. Third and Gang Zi also want to go. Lin Qing, he said. She was going to call Mother Wang to join her. All right then. Let's go together tomorrow. I can go experience what's it's like. De Lin came back last time and said it was good. Zhou Xiaomei replied. After washing up with her fourth sister-in-law, they each made their own way home. Zhou Xiaomei naturally wanted to tell her parents about this matter. 
Better to stop them from always thinking that their grandson was some kind of talent. After hearing what Zhou Xiaomei had said, Father Zhou's face turned black. Mother Zhou was fuming with anger. Fighting again. Fighting. Is he going to fight wherever he goes? This is only one semester. Only settled down for one semester. Mother Zhou was furious, I told him, got to be peaceful. Harmony is top priority. He had never listened to me. Mother, now you understand. Chang Zi is spoiled by first sister. Zhou Xiaomei remarked in displeasure. Her eldest sister gave birth to Su Xing Chang after giving birth to three daughters. How can she not spoil? She must dote him. Finally, they saw the result of spoiling. He thought he was superior wherever he went. He was sent to the hospital in the factory. Now he was attending night school, he fought over a woman. What's going on now? Mother Zhou said. I don't know. Fourth sister-in-law said she's not getting involved. Fourth brother introduced him, so fourth brother solve it by himself. Zhou Xiaomei wiped her hair and answered, By the way, fourth sister-in-law had adjusted her class tomorrow and finally got some free time. She intends to drive by herself to the hot springs. I'm going with fourth sister-in-law. Mother, watch Tian Tian for me. Tomorrow, I'm going to your fourth brother's side to ask about the situation. Let Dalin take Tian Tian to the bun shop. Mother Zhou responded. I, I'll take. Su Dalin nodded. He can still handle it. The most important thing was that this matter wasn't trivial. It was normal for the elderly to worry. Father Zhou and Mother Zhou were worried. Lin Qing, he was burden-free. When she returned home, Zhou Qingbai was already at home. He was watching this year's newly released Legend of the Condor Heroes. He had to watch it every day. Completely fascinated by this TV series. But looking at him right now, he was obviously absent-minded. In the end, Lin Qing, he softened, old man, you're not too young. Don't worry about things you shouldn't worry about. She didn't intend to care about him, but he happened to be her family's pig. She had to care. Zhou Qingbai said, I'm not worried. What is the result? Lin Qing, he sat down and asked. Expelled from night school. So he don't have to go anymore. Zhou Qingbai responded. He went there just to resolve it. Of course, he also argued a bit and didn't bow his head too much. Before he had said it very clearly. He brought Su Xing Chang over to join the class and hoped that he would study hard. This was also giving him an opportunity. But if he don't grasp it, then he can't be blamed for others to not caring about him. Lin Qing, he saw that he was indeed fine and said, we'll get involved in the future? He grew up this big. Already reached the age of dating. No need to care. Zhou Qingbai stated. It was impossible to say he wasn't disappointed. He didn't plan to get involved anymore. He didn't approve of his nephew coming. But since his eldest sister vetoed his opinion and let him be brought over by Xing Mei, it was their matter. He did what he could do. Zhou Qingbai was not the kind to keep persuading. Lin Qing, he didn't continue to stimulate him and said, Our family have so many shops. There's endless matters to worry about, so you can save strength on these things. If something happens from all that worry, I will be the one who suffer. I won't get tired. Zhou Qingbai smiled and grasped his wife's hand. Just when he held her hand, the children came back. Hu Zi, Gang Zi, Zhou Xian, and Zhou Gui Lai returned. Lin Qing, he said, Gang Zi, third, go to bed early. We will depart tomorrow. I have an appointment with your sister-in-law. What are you going to do? Zhou Qingbai was stunned. What else can we do? We are going to the hot springs. We're going tomorrow. Lin Qing, he answered. Zhou Qingbai stared at his wife with a sulky gaze. Since the car was brought back, he hadn't had the chance to take his wife to the hot spring yet. 
go mauled about it. You guys go to bed early. Seeing that it was almost half past nine, Lin Qing, he got up and planned to go to bed. Zhou Qingbai didn't watch TV anymore and followed his wife back to the room. Leaving behind a group of big and small winking at each other. Chapter 476 Barbarian, have you guys seen her? I haven't even seen what that woman looks like. Is she really that beautiful? Zhou Guilai asked. What beautiful? Worse than Sister Aaron I. Zhou Xian answered. Very average. Hu Zi also commented pertinently. Gang Zi didn't see her either. When he heard about it, he hurried back to notified. He didn't go to check what the other party looked like. Then why fight so fiercely? If it is for a beauty, then I would praise him. The appearance dog, Zhou Gui Lai said as he waved his hand. Gang Zi said, I think you have a lot of thought in this aspect. Why didn't you bring one back and show to my uncle and aunt? My mom said that I can only date after 18 years old. Zhou Gui Lai wistfully sighed. Youth spring heart sprouted. He was one of them. Although many in the class were older than him, there were also some who were one or two years older than him. That was okay. Putting aside his old mom's disapproval, once the other party knew his age, the look in their eyes was the kind of loving gaze toward a younger brother. He simply couldn't bear it. In conclusion, he attended school too early. Especially when the education system was five-year in elementary school and two-year system in junior and senior high school student. Three years less compared to later generations. Otherwise, he would timely attend university at the age of 18. Then, he can freely date. Lin Qing, he wouldn't stop him. Right now, how old he was? Second brother, you can fall in love next year. Do you have a type? Do you like Feng Qingcheng's style? Zhou Guilai asked. I'm not in a hurry. Zhou Kaixian calmly replied, You can ask Hu Zi. Brother Hu Zi, how about you? You're not young. Zhou Gui Lai turned to Hu Zi. Hu Zi slapped his head, I haven't thought about it. Know how to live is enough. Brother Hu Zi was that realistic. He wanted a wife who can live. No other requests. This standard made Zhou Xian and Zhou Gui Lai amused. Gang Zi laughed. Because of Su Xing Chong's matter, the teens were discussed about the relationship between men and women. They didn't keep the matter in mind. Whether it was Zhou brothers or Hu Zi brothers, their feeling towards Su Xing Chong's events wasn't that deep. The relationship between people was like this. Whether one was relative or not, one will be close when they socialize more. They will definitely be far away if they were distanced. Su Xing Chong's time in the capital wasn't too short. He hadn't visited more than a few times, so there was no real concern for him. Besides, the other might not necessarily need their concern. The next day, Lin Qing, he drove the car to go to the hot springs for recreational time. She didn't go because of Su Xing Chong. She had long already planned it. Last time, she brought the car back, she had promised third. It had been delayed until now and happened to clash together. When she came to pick up Zhou Xiaomei, Mother Zhou wanted to inquire. Ask Qing Bai. I don't know what's going on. Lin Qing, he didn't comment anything. She took Zhou Xiaomei out and went to find Mother Wang. Naturally, Mother Wang was notified in advance. She was delighted. So a car full of people went together. Mother Zhou didn't sleep well last night, so she came to look for her youngest son. Zhou Qingbai knew the reason of her visit and assured, Mother, don't worry. It's nothing serious. That hooligan, Chang Zi's mother knew that he was going to cause a mess. But now your eldest sister isn't here. He came here alone. We can't really leave him alone. Mother Zhou worriedly spoke. Knowing that fourth's wife was absent, she dared to say this. Even when Lin Qing, he wasn't home, Zhou Qingbai didn't plan to get too involved. Mother, them siblings aren't young. Xing Mei is married. 
They are all grown ups and can live their lives. Xing Chang is already that big. How old was my father when he married you? They are all grown ups. They won't be happy about being governed too much. Mother understand. But, can Chang Zi still go to school? Mother Zhou asked. Can't. He got expelled. Yesterday, Xing Mei said that she would bring Chang Zi over. I guess she will come over today. Mother, if you have anything to say, go and tell Xing Chang. Zhou Qing Bai stated. He will stretch out his hand when he should and he won't get involved when shouldn't. As he said, he was a grown person. As an uncle, did he have to worry about this? It wasn't like he was idle and had nothing to do. Because of this matter, his wife wasn't willing to take him to the hot springs for couple time. Third, could request a leave to cook dumpling in the shop. How great it would have been if he and his wife went to the hot springs together. Mother Zhou sat there waiting. Su Xingmei came over by herself. Su Xingchang didn't come. Su Xingmei was going to be angered to death by her brother. After this happened, it was a must to come to old Zhou's house to show their attitude. The last time he fought. This time he fought again. What kind of place was here? Treating here as the countryside? Can fight whenever? Especially due to a woman this time? That woman was also a scumbag. She initially heard that her brother had a job and that the factory belonged to his brother-in-law. The cogs in her mind moved and wanted to get closer. That way, easier to get a job or something. The woman was unemployed. She came to study so that she could easily find a job. She met Su Xing Chang and heard Su Xing Chang bragging about it. So she matched with Su Xing Chang. She even held hands privately with Su Xing Chang. In Su Xing Chang's eyes, she was regarded as his wife. He wanted to get a job for that woman, but it wasn't easy for his sister to arrange him in. How can a spot be spared again? After a while, the woman's intuition sensed that he was lying to her. In fact, he had no value. Naturally, she wanted to break up. However, Su Xing Chang didn't agree. It was hard to get a match in the capital. What's more, she was pretty, warm, and gentle. If he brought her back to the village, how much face would he get? In fact, Su Xing Chang had kept pestering the other party for some time before the fight. The woman was extremely annoyed and regretted it. She wanted to use his connection to get a job. Who knew he was mentally sick? And quite heavily. It was clearly just holding hands. He kept saying that she was his person as if there was real progress. This time the fight was inevitable, because Su Xing Chang couldn't hold it anymore. He happened to see her talking and laughing with another man. So he struck. The other party wasn't part of Zhao family's factory and won't fight back. The guy didn't hold back with Su Xing Chang. Both sides received injuries on their faces. It went without saying Zhao family knew. Mother Zhao directly made a dig at Su Xing Mei. She simply said those from the countryside couldn't be on the stage. Didn't even understand the word civilization and would fight repeatedly. Barbarian. No need to mention how anxious Su Xing Mei was. Chapter 477. Sudden prospective marriage, naturally, Su Xing Mei scolded Su Xing Chang. How much brain power did she spend to get her brother over? She wanted him to come here to become slightly successful. This he could bring her glory and let her husband's family know her maternal wasn't without a developed brother. Who could have known, her brother was so impulsive. Forget winning glory right now, it really lost her face. What made her angry was that she told him to come over to old Joe's house to explain that it wasn't his intention to fight. It was the girls cheating his feelings. It didn't matter whether she was playing with his feelings. In short, he just had to pour the dirty water away, so it didn't get on himself. However, her brother didn't even come over. Why should I go? They don't care about me. They look down on me. Am I going to get scolded? Su Xing Chang said angrily. Su Xing Mei was really going to be pissed to death. 
why can't he use his brain? Why Zhao family did leave them a few degree of face? It was all due to old Zhou family. It didn't matter if old Zhou family looked down on their siblings. Old Zhou family was their only support now. So they had to go to old Zhou family to explain. Can't let the other side be disappointed in them, or how will walk their path in the future? But Su Xing Chang just won't come. So, Su Xing Mei had no choice but to bite the bullet and come alone. Where is Chang Zi? Mother Zhou, who was waiting in the shop, asked with a black face. Chang Zi was beaten a bit badly. He's still lying on the bed at the moment. Su Xing Mei thought of an excuse when he came over. What Chang Zi did had really disappointed me. Grandma, I didn't sleep all night because of him last night. Didn't sleep all night? Weren't you delighted about bringing him here? How long had he been here? Got into a fight twice in a row. Don't you know what kind of place the capital city is? It's no wonder your uncle and aunt didn't agree to let him come. Hu Zi and Gang Zi came here for so long. Have they caused trouble? Mother Zhou exploded. Grandma, I know. After the last time, I had told him to study hard and not to make trouble. But you don't know. When it comes to this matter, the girl is the troublemaker. Su Xingmei explained. What does her making trouble have to do with Chang Zi? Why didn't Gang Zi and the others fight? Rotten meat and flies. Can't talk about each other. Mother Zhou coldly snorted. Yes, that's correct. That woman thought Chang Zi's family is rich, so she pasted herself. But when she found out Chang Zi is from the countryside, she split up with Chang Zi. Grandma, you know how difficult it is for us, who come from the countryside, to get in the city. They all look down on us. Su Xing Mei said with red eyes. Aunt Ma, who was washing the dishes, didn't like to hear these words. What city folks looking down on country folks? Aren't Wang Yuan and Er and I doing well? How did it become looking down? Granny Ma, it's different. Our country girls marry in the city. Is easier. After all, they don't need to move their household registration to the countryside. But it's not easy for rural youth to marry girls from the city. My brother finally matched with her and treated her wholeheartedly. However, she flipped her face with a head turn. It's no wonder my brother became so impulsive. Su Xingmei explained. Your brother is at fault in this matter. Your brother didn't explain it clearly to her from the beginning. After being honest, then date if they want. Your brother didn't and the other party found out he got a rural household registration. What's wrong with flipping face? Isn't it because she was cheated by your brother? What? Can't let the other party be displeased? Aunt Ma didn't hold back. That's right. With the way Chang Zi is, if a girl in the village can fancy him when he goes back, then it's not bad. He still dare to come to the capital to find a partner? What does he think he is? Hu Zi and Gang Zi dared not think of finding someone in the capital. Both of them are good. Mother Zhou threw out. She felt that this granddaughter was simply high-handed and low-eyed. Even want to come to the capital to find a partner. If the other party knew, would they agree? Su Xing Mei did not expect Aunt Ma to ruin it. She originally used the urban-rural gap to gain sympathy from her grandma. Unexpectedly, Aunt Ma made such a strong intervention. The direction of the matter changed. Old sister, don't say it like that. Hu Zi is a good young man. I don't know if you are interested, old sister. If you are, I wanted to pair Hu Zi with Shan Shan. Aunt Ma brought up. Originally, Mother Zhou got a stomach full of fire and her mind couldn't catch up with Aunt Ma's sudden change of direction. Soon, she understood Aunt Ma's thoughts. Oh, what do you mean, old sister? Mother Zhou's attention was attracted by her. Shan Shan, ah, my old sister Su's granddaughter. She's about the same age as Hu Zi. She's working in the clothing store now. Ching Bai and Teacher Lin both know her. I was wondering if Hu Zi is interested. 
If he is, then I'll go to old Sue's house and mention it. Aunt Ma grinned, old sister Sue and her daughter-in-law, that is, Sean Shan's mother, works in the small workshop right now. Aunt Ma's words didn't make waves when there was no wind. It started from old Sue's side. Old Madam Sue had spoken to her in private and wanted her to help probe old Joe's stance. They can forget about Bay University student like Zhou Kai. Old Madam Sue had self-awareness. Still, old Madam Sue had set her eyes on Hu Zi. This was Zhou Ching Bai's nephew. What's more, he was a decent young man. Though he was tanned, his appearance wasn't bad. Nor was he short. More importantly, he was a hard-working man. Even though he got a rural household registration, look at what age it was now. It was opening up. Even when one have no household registration here, they can come here to rent a place. Besides, it won't always like that in the future. If they have that condition, they can also transfer it over to here. When old Madame Sue asked Aunt Ma about Huzi's situation, Aunt Ma said it was pretty good. That's because Aunt Ma came into contact with Hu Zi and the group more than old Madame Sue. Aunt Ma had mentioned that the only shortcoming was the rural registration. It wasn't really discrimination, but the household registration issue was indeed a big problem. It was the same in every era. Old Madame Sue doesn't care about this. Now Chin Shan Shan reached the age and there was no suitable match in the surroundings. It went without saying old Madame Sue began considering this aspect. Aunt Ma found a rare opportunity and conveniently brought it up. So Mother Zhou's focus went from condemning her grandson to another grandson's marriage. Su Xingmei also didn't expect this change. Her expression eased, but at the same time she gritted her teeth. Why can't her brother marry a girl from the capital? When it came to matching Hu Zi to a girl from the capital, her grandma was so happy. Chapter 478 Peach Blossom Fortune Of course, Mother Zhou was delighted. This was different from Su Xing Chang, who took the initiative to chase after the other party. This was the other party coming over to mention it. Although it was Aunt Ma who came to open this mouth, Mother Zhou wasn't muddled-minded. Especially when it came to marriage. Both of them were veterans. If the woman's side was willing, she will ask an intermediary to test the water and see the man's side's attitude. The intermediary will express that the woman's side didn't know about it and if the man's side was interested, then she will help be the go-between. But in fact, the woman's side started it. If it fails, neither side will be embarrassed. So, Mother Zhou was overjoyed. All right, you can go back quickly. Changzi's matter, handle it as you see fit. Anyway, you are quite capable. Mother Zhou sent her granddaughter away first. Su Xingmei didn't want to stay either. Her grandma's attitude was too hurtful. As soon as her granddaughter left, Mother Zhou pulled Aunt Ma aside to sit. Zhou Qingbai brought over two glasses of water. Although he didn't say anything, he had showed his support. Mother Zhou had just heard from Aunt Ma that the girl was currently working in Fort's wife's clothing store. Knowing that her youngest son knew the girl and seeing his current attitude, Mother Zhou would feel assured in her heart. Old sister, I really want to thank you for being willing to help bring up this matter and highly look upon that blunt head, Hu Zi. Mother Zhou gave such a preface. I watched all the young ones like Hu Zi since they came here. Old sister, this grandson of your won't do badly in the future. Aunt Ma was also good talker. Mother Zhou was naturally happy. Grandson did well. As his grandma, she naturally had face, old sister, you're here to help Ching Bai. So you also know the situation. I can guarantee the rest. No matter whether it is my second daughter or second son-in-law, they aren't a foolish person. My eldest daughter used to be fine but didn't know what happened and she became like this. Taught these children to be like this. Just watching them, my heart burns. However my second daughter's family is different. Otherwise, I wouldn't dare to be thin-faced and talk about this matter. Like Chang Zi, a country girl can agree to marry him is already his blessings. 
It's honest truth. Not empty words. Mother Zhou's message can be said clear. She learned this skills from those who helped matchmake in the past. But really, Aunt Ma found it comfortable to hear. Old sister, don't worry. I understand. Aunt Ma smilingly responded. Everything else can be easily discussed. I promise you that this child, Hu Zi, will definitely dote his wife. You know his salary. He lives at his uncle's house and basically has nowhere to spend money. This child is filial and sends the money home. But he dates and get married, it will be different. The necessary filial piety will be fulfilled, but the rest will definitely be for their own family. Mother Zhou continued. It wasn't a surprise that Mother Zhou was willing to help out. If her grandson can marry a girl from the capital, how wonderful it'll be. What's more, what time were they in? It was opening up now. Especially in the capital. It was popular for young people to get married and then separate off from their family. So Mother Zhou was conveying that in the future, it's okay to keep the salary by yourself. After all, to live in this big city, the pressure of survival wasn't small. How can they still send all the money back? Just send some money back and keeping the rest for themselves was normal. Have to say that after coming to the capital, Mother Zhou's awareness had improved a lot. In fact, Mother Zhou had always been quite generous in this aspect. Didn't Lin Qing he separated off in the past? She held all the allowances that Zhou Qingbai sent back. The only requirement was to raise her three grandchildren well. Aunt Ma was naturally satisfied with what Mother Zhou said. After all, this was indeed an issue. Sister, since you said that, I feel more relieved. Aunt Merrily responded. I told you all these things clearly to you, so you can help speak for that silly boy, Hu Zi. There is no problem in other matters. But I still need to clearly warn you, old sister. Mother Zhou spoke. Speak, old sister. Aunt Ma nodded. The only point is that Hu Zi hold a rural household registration. This household registration is a sticky issue. Mother Zhou watched her and said. Aunt Ma replied, I know that the household registration is not easy to move. You know my second son, Ching Min, who is now helping Ching Bai and teacher Lin as a manager. You don't know. When he came back, my partner and I took out all the coffin money in order to finally get the household registration. Mother Zhou commented, it's good to be able to move it back. That's right. Aunt Ma said, so according to my opinion, it's enough that Hu Zi's character is good. Not about the household registration. In fact, it's only that important, right old sister? Mother Zhou was delighted, isn't that the logic? That's how it justified. But we still have to look into it later, right? Aunt Ma nodded first, and then said, if they successfully get together, they will probably take root in the capital in the future. You can also see how the site's development. The education here will be better for the next generation. I don't mean to look down, but the countryside really can't compare to the big cities. I know what you mean, old sister. You know how difficult it is to apply for this household registration. Mother Zhou hesitated. I knew it's not easy. So, I'm not requesting Hu Zi to get a capital's household registration. I just wanted to say, if there is a chance in the future, is Hu Zi willing to relocate the household registration? If he has this intention, then rest assured, old sister. I will discuss this marriage for you. Aunt Ma stated. If there is a chance, who wouldn't be willing to move over? I'm just worried that there aren't many opportunities. Mother Zhou didn't want to delude people. She only understood how difficult it was to relocate the household registration after she came here. She knew how much ability it taken Fourth's wife to transfer all of five household registrations. But because she was clear, Mother Zhou didn't give a definite promise. It was really difficult to complete. No problem. If there is a chance, Hu Zi would be happy to transfer it. Zhou Qingbai over and told Aunt Ma, I will promise you on this, Aunt Ma. 
Aunt Ma smiled, Ching Bai, since you nodded your head, then there is no problem. I'll go tell your Aunt Sue, after I get off work. Old Zhou family's enthusiastic attitude made Aunt Ma have face. If she successfully paired the two young people, it's a merit, right? Hu Zi, who was greeting the guests at the men's shop, didn't know that his peach blossom fortune had arrived. Chapter 479 Willing, let's talk about Lin Qing he sighed. She was also clueless about the big turning point that had suddenly taken place in at home. She, Mother Wang, Zhou Xiaomei, and two half-grown lads, came to the hot spring, to soak. They also ate lunch and dinner here, and then drove back. It went without saying today was a particularly pleasant day. Ching He, bring old Zhou to our house when you're free. I'll treat you a feast. Lin Ching, he drove her back. When she got out of the car, Mother Wing merrily said. I won't be reserved with you when I have time. It's getting late, we'll go back first. Lin Ching, he grinned and drove home. Mother Wang just returned home. Father Wang was watching TV at home as he waited for her. Seeing her looking happy, he said, was it fun? It was. You didn't go, so you don't know how good the place is. Oh, the next time Ching, he finds me, I will go with her. Mother Wang put the bag down and smilingly answered. Father Wang remarked, you and Teacher Lin are now good sisters. Mother Wing said, what's wrong with good sisters? Being good sisters is wonderful. It's rare that Teacher Lin is a brisk and neat person like me. Of course, we'll become sisters. Then you won't be in-laws? Father Wing teased. To be honest, the more they got along with old Zhou family, the more Father Wing felt that his youngest daughter and Zhou Kai's match will become true. Which was pretty good. That side was a clear household and clean reputation. The most important factor was that the parents were reasonable. If such a household can become their in-laws, it couldn't be any better. You can step aside. Ching, he, and I have become good sisters. Why can't we become in-laws? Mother Wang uttered in displeasure. Father Wang already had that stance. Let alone Mother Wang. She can't wait to marry her youngest daughter over. How great was such household? There was nothing to be anxious after marrying over. She wondered how her youngest daughter was doing at the military hospital. She hadn't called back for a long time. Next time she calls back, she has to urge her to find young Kai to go out to watch a movie or something. Is my fish gelatin done stewing? Mother Wang asked again. It's done. It's in the pot. Father Wang said helplessly, that thing is so fishy, how can you drink it? It's okay. Wasn't it stewed with rock sugar? The sweetness is also good. Would you like to taste it? Quite nourishing. Mother Wang went to scoop some and asked him. Not eating. Father Wang refused. He couldn't bear the taste of fish gelatin. Simply can't be described. Mother Wang drank it by herself. She curled her lips after drinking and remarked, it's really gelatinous. Especially beauty nourishing. There's not much left at home. Have to buy it. Father Wing said. Mother Wing told him to buy it for her when he had time. That side gave them a 20% discount. What was eaten now was gifted by Lin Qing, he. This 20% discount was requested by her. Originally, Lin Qing, he told her request it when she wanted to eat it. Sounded especially wealthy. However, Mother Wang couldn't make herself to. In the end, she decided on a 20% discount. Lin Qing, he didn't comment and let her be. Mother Wang felt this fish gelatin was good stuff. She didn't drink much every week. Only twice. Still, she felt that her skin condition was much better. This was another beauty nourishing method Lin Qing, he recommended to her. Mother Wang didn't understand these beauty maintenance. She relied on Lin Qing he's recommendation. Although it was a little troublesome, it was undeniable that it really worked. As long as it worked, a woman will not bother by the trouble, no matter how much effort it took. 
Father Wang let her continue toss around. After all, it was really useful. His wife's complexion was much more ruddy. She was also much fairer. Quite pleasing top the eye. So he went along with it. Let's stop it here with old Wang family. Lin Qing, he took Zhou Xiaomei to the house first and then drove back to the dumpling shop. Had fun? Zhou Qingbai looked at her and asked. Yes. Had a good meal and had a good time. I heard that side will start massage. We can go for a massage in the future. Lin Qing, he raised her eyebrows. Because there were children present, Zhou Qingbai didn't say anything. Sister Er and I, you have to get brother Wang Yuan to take you there. That side is awesome. You can't not go. You must go there. Zhou Gui Lai encouraged Zhou Er and I. Zhou Er and I curled her lips and smiled, I'll bring it up if I have a chance. Remember to call us when you go. We won't be an eyesore to you guys. When we get there, we will play on our own. You two go and ask for a room to soak slowly. Zhou Gui Lai said. Zhou Er and I blushed and wanted to hit him. Zhou Gui Lai giggled as he ran away. Aunt Ma had already got off work. So Lin Qing, he only heard about the matter of Aunt Ma matching Hu Zi and Chen Shan Shan from Zhou Qing Bai when they went home at night. Lin Qing, he was shocked, this is so sudden? This was so sudden. Su Xing Chong's fight had only just happened. Him coming over with his sister to apologize wasn't even mentioned yet and she first heard about Aunt Ma matchmaking Hu Zi to Chin Shan Shan? This was so out of the blue. It's not. Old Chin family was probably thinking about it. Zhou Qing Bai responded. Shan Shan is a good one. But Hu Zi got a rural household registration. Did Old Chin family propose any conditions? Lin Qing, he asked. Zhou Qing Bai briefly went over Mother Zhou's words. Lin Qing, he smiled. Her mother-in-law wasn't at all vague on this matter. She was quite thorough. But really, it was stated quite well. As for the household registration issue, her Qing Bai had promised to relocate it when there is a chance. It wasn't a bad check. If there is a chance, it will be beneficial to move it over. It will be good for future generations. So it's okay for her Qing Bai to promise this. After all, it's not easy to find a good capitals girl that mind the household registration. If one encounter, then one got to grasp it right. Have you told Hu Zi? Lin Qing, he asked. Chen Shan Shan's side didn't need her to check. Aunt Ma would open her mouth, because it must have been mentioned by old Chen family. Otherwise, Aunt Ma wouldn't do such a thankless work. And, Zhou Qing Bai answered. Lin Qing, he understood from his reaction that Hu Zi must be happy. Actually, Chen Shan Shan was a little older than Hu Zi, but not by a lot. These weren't relevant. Mainly because Hu Zi and Chen Shan Shan knew each other. Chen Shan Shan didn't count it as pretty. However, one can't link ugly to her. She was also a girl from the capital. Now old Chen family displayed their stance, how can Hu Zi not be willing? If you want a massage, you don't need to find someone else. I'll do it. Zhou Qingbai said suddenly. Lin Qing, he almost couldn't catch up with his thoughts. After a moment of being stunned, her mind recollected itself. He was talking about going to the hot spring for a massage. There will be female servers. Lin Qing, he pointed out. Still not allowed to massage. I'll do it. Zhou Qingbai maintained. It was no problem for him to do it. It was just as he continued to massage, the mood will easily change. Chapter 480 Misunderstanding Hu Zi slightly couldn't sleep that night. Because for this young man, the impact of today's matter wasn't small. Wasn't the spotlight on Chang Zi's case? How did it turn to him out of nowhere? Of course he wasn't unhappy. On the contrary, he was delighted. Although he was feeling a bit shy about getting matched, he was quite familiar with Chen Shan Shan. 
It was just that he never considered it before and interacted as friends. He didn't dare think about marrying the other party someone. After all, he was a country boy with a rural household registration. So better not make a fool of oneself. So he didn't think about it from beginning to end. But he didn't expect his uncle to privately talk about this matter to him tonight. He endured his excitement and went to find and ask his grandma. His grandma also gave a very clear confirmation. And because of this, Huzi couldn't sleep now. To put it simply, happiness came too suddenly and slightly couldn't handle it. Brother, what are you doing? Still not sleeping? What time is it? Just when Gang Z went to the bathroom and noticed he wasn't asleep yet. The two brothers were camping on the floor in the living room. There was a fan blowing, making it comfortable. As for Zhou Gui Lai and Zhou Xian, they slept in the room. They were also laying on the floor in the room. They didn't want to go up on the bed as it wasn't as cool as the ground. Hu Zi said, it's nothing. Go to sleep. Gang Zi and the others didn't even know about this. So he left him be after hearing this. Hu Zi got up early the next day. He went to the old Chen family's side and wandered around. Chen Shan Shan got up very early. Although she had work, she also did chores at home. She got up early in the morning to cook. When she came out to pour water, she saw Hu Zi. It was unknown what she was thinking and her face blushed. Still, Chen Shan Shan glanced at Hu Zi and walked over, why did you come over? I just, just came out and walk around. Hu Zi stammered. Chen Shan Shan was originally nervous and feeling shy but when she saw that he was more embarrassed than herself, she felt more relieved. She glanced at him and said, do you know about adults pairing us? N, my uncle told me. Although Hu Zi's face was blushing, he still knew that it wasn't easy to get a good girl from the capital to become his wife. So at this time, he looked at Chen Shan Shan eagerly. Then what's with your attitude? Chen Shan Shan flushed at his straightforwardness and turned her face away. I don't have much abilities, but if you are willing to marry and become my wife, I will definitely dote you for the rest of my life. I'm not registered in the capital, but my uncle said that as long as I work hard, I can transfer the household registration to the capital once I save the money in the future. Shan Shan, if you are willing to marry me, I, I, Huang Hu, will be good to you for a lifetime and will work hard to let you live a good life. Hu Zi bowed with a red face. These words thought out by him last night when he couldn't sleep all night. It wasn't said just to coax the young girl. He really thought so, so naturally he stated this. Chin Shan Shan was completely red, peeked at him, and said, idiot. When she about to respond, Hu Zi became too anxious and said, Shan Shan, are you willing to be my girlfriend? Not willing. Chin Shan Shan gave him an angry expression and blushingly ran back. Hu Zi was struck by lightning. When he returned, he looked dispirited. However, he still brought buns and fried dough sticks from his uncle, De Lin, and brought it back to his aunt as her breakfast. Lin Qing, he got up early because there were more classes today. Seeing that he came back, she avoided Zhou Gui Lai and the other who were brushing their teeth outside and asked in a low voice, although I heard your uncle mentioned it, and still has to ask. What is your attitude towards Shan Shan? Hu Zi wanted to cry, aunt, naturally I'm delighted. But Shan Shan isn't. Don't blame her though. It's normal that she won't. After all, he was a country boy and had nothing. It was normal for a girl to be unwilling to match with him. Still, Hu Zi was very sad. After last night of psychological preparation, he basically treated Chin Shan Shan as his girlfriend. Unexpectedly, Chin Shan Shan wasn't willing. Huh? Lin Qing, he was shocked, Chin Shan Shan wasn't? How could this be possible? If she wasn't happy to, why would Aunt Ma bring it up? I just went over that and encountered Shan Shan. She said she wasn't willing. Hu Zi said sadly. Lin Qing, he was really taken aback, Chin Shan Shan wasn't willing? 
Lin Ching, he sought Aunt Ma, before she had breakfast. Aunt Ma smilingly beckoned, Teacher Lin, come. Let's eat together. Her family was in the middle of their meal. Aunt Ma, let's step out a bit and discuss something. Lin Ching, he said. This matter must be said carefully, otherwise it would be embarrassing. Aunt Ma came out. Auntie, it's about pairing Hu Zi and Shan Shan. Did Old Chen family agree to it? Lin Ching, he went straight to the point. Agree. They're not in a rush and want to let the young ones date by themselves. Just like Wang Yuan and Er and I. When the time is about right, they can discuss marriage. They're both still young. Aunt Ma jollily responded. Agree? Lin Ching, he was perplexed, just now, Hu Zi went over to met Shan Shan and Shan Shan said she wasn't willing. Huh? Aunt Ma got a fright, there's such matter? How could this be possible? Old Chin family asked me to reveal the foundation first. She only brought it up because old Madam Su's request. Now old Chin family's Chin Shan Shan wasn't happy to date him? What was this called? No, this can't do. I have to ask clearly. They can't do this. Aunt Ma can't eat anymore. Wasn't this putting people on the spot? She went to find old Madam Sue. Once old Madam Sue heard of it, she asked her granddaughter. Chin Shan Shan was taken aback. When did she say she was unwilling? Then she remembered and didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Who's he, that idiot? Can't he tell that she was joking? Who's he, that idiot? Chen Shan Shan blushed and replied to old Madam Sue. Oh, it turned out to be a misunderstanding. Gave me a scare. Aunt Ma took in her reaction and how could she not understand? The girl was being shy and deliberately said she wasn't. Hu Zi didn't think so much and thought she was really unwilling. Hu Zi is a honest lad. He thought you didn't like him and didn't eat breakfast. I saw he was like he lost his soul. Aunt Ma amusedly said. It's better to let him eat something. Such a big guy, not eating won't do. Chen Shan Shan said. Heart aching for him already? Aunt Ma joked, all right, I tell Hu Zi to have a good meal when I go back. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.